Quick, say something Run. controversial. I don't Orbis. know. <laughs> uh, uh, RNG decos are better than RNG talismans. Oh, oh my oh. god. You know what? I had I had a pretty good conversation about this with a friend yesterday, but well, we can save that I'm for the actual for the round table. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we can, save it, we can save it for another time that we want to destroy our entire <laughs> careers. Oh my god! Go now, alrighty, you guys ready to get this started? Yes, yeah. sir. Alrighty, yeah. here we go. Welcome everyone, and thank you for joining us for episode two of the Carcast, which is also a special episode because we're going to be doing a roundtable discussion of our time with Monster Hunter Wilds during the time uh, we spent streaming it and playing it at TwitchCon. So. Uh, yeah, uh, thank you so much for joining us. And uh, we have these amazing people in the uh, the voice chat here, as you guys can see. Uh, if you guys would like to uh, take your turns and start uh, introducing yourself, letting us know what your first Monster Hunter was, in addition to the two weapons you'll be bringing into Wilds. Starting with, uh, let's start with Buck, since he's in the top left corner oh, there for oh, me. Perfect. Top left corner. All right. It's like the seat of the table. <laughs> <laughs> um, Let's see. Well, my name is Buck Fuzel. Um, I would say as far as my weapons I'm most excited about, of course, bow. I love bow with all my mm. heart. But bow and hammer, which is what I brought into the demo. But I never touched hammer because I was having too much fun with bow. So I'm excited to actually <laughs> try it out. That's super fair. <laughs> cross, that day, cross that line. But no, I'm really excited to be here. This is a cool opportunity and it was super awesome to be able to play wilds down at twitchcon and meet all you guys wow now we get the party here second we're second, yeah, we're second. We're second. We're second. Yeah. I, I, just, I just want you to understand yeah. wilds, i can't believe it the rest of you. You. I mean, that's fair honestly Wait, hold on. Wilds. meeting you guys all right we got uh johnny next if you'd like to uh go ahead and introduce yourself sir uh, yeah, so as everybody knows, my name is Johnny or GJ Johnny on Twitch, uh, as well as, as well as uh, Twitter or X and YouTube. Um, like everybody else here, we, I play a lot of Monster Hunter. Uh, and then my first ever Monster Hunter game, I want to say it's 3U. Ayo? Yeah, 3U. That was my first ever uh, Monster Hunter game on the 3DS. It was kind of kind of crazy, kind of wild. <laughs> I don't get it. Can you explain why that's funny? Uh, yeah, because <laughs> the new game that's coming out from Monster Hunter series uh -huh. is called Monster Hunter uh -huh. Wilds. Uh -huh. But a lot of the times when people say, oh, that's crazy. Uh -huh. That's like wild. That's the uh, bringing uh -huh. up the hype. The, yeah, so that's. I uh -huh. can't believe he actually took the time to actually explain that. What the I do it every time. Does. No, every time <laughs> Bigel's just like, can you explain it? And I'm like, oh, yeah, no, sure. Let me let me dumb it down for you oh my god, god my man this is my third level of hell <laughs> yeah <laughs> only the third level you thought only you the third <laughs> oh my god um, well, it's because we're in vc oh true <laughs> mm. uh and then oh i guess the two weapons i'll be bringing to wilds uh is gonna be charge blade mm -hmm. uh and dual blades um because i was having a lot of fun with them and i'll talk about lamar when we um get into the discussions but i was having a lot of fun with them during wild so i'm hoping to main those uh during my first attempt at like playing wilds and everything so yeah awesome awesome hey, go, go nice oh it's oh. my turn okay nope. uh hi hello <laughs> my name is uh jow bagel i spirit of monster hunter games i uh, do that thing where i start playing the game over from the very beginning every single day of my life for the past five years he's that guy <laughs> uh the guy yeah that's me yeah you can find me on twitch and on youtube uh at jow bagel on both of those um and uh my first ever monster hunter was three ultimate and i hated it uh i hated the game despised Damn. it okay played it for like played it for like you know like 15 hours maybe i gave it a real good shot and i was like mm, this game sucks and then four <laughs> ultimate came out and i was like oh i get it <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, I see now. Because <laughs> four ultimate was a banger. Um, and the two weapons I'll bring with me into wilds, uh, definitely switch axe, um, and probably a second switch axe. <laughs> oh yeah, okay, double swag I master. Think, Let's I think, go. I think so. <laughs> I don't know. Nice. Or like bow. I don't know. Debating. I haven't figured out the second one yet, but the first one's definitely switch axe. I mean, we all know that Jozo San is probably going to use double hammer in his playthrough, so yeah, I, know. I, I yeah. think double so swags is very, very, uh, yeah. you know, fair. I want it at the same yeah. time. 
just start just swinging one around. in each hand. Yeah, each yeah, dual each hand. It. Yeah. It's my own. It's Two my own version of dual blades. There you go. Yeah, it's very exciting little nice. thing they're gonna reveal is you can dual wield. <laughs> Dude, yeah, you imagine? For real. That's that's, that's the new so secret fifteenth level thing. <laughs> you know what's better oh, than one great sword? <laughs> dual wielding great sword. <laughs> <laughs> I would love the fact that you just get like two hammers and just go ham onto that monster. <laughs> oh. Big tonfa. <laughs> oh man. Dude, you just have to like make a new character and just call yourselves the hulk <laughs> yeah i mean <laughs> um, i'm gonna do that anyways uh i guess i'm next yeah. um since i'm fairly new to y'all i have a little story about myself in the background uh, yeah. my name's jomar oh, stories <laughs> my name's jomar i'm a variety game content creator who specializes mostly in pokemon and now monster hunter uh, i also really love kingdom hearts mario zelda and in general i just love talking about video games um, I'm actually pretty new to the Monster Hunter community. I just started playing more the beginning of this year. Uh, I tried out the Rise demo last year on the Switch and uh, I dropped it off because I had no idea what I was doing and the time frame of it, learning how to play the game was just so confusing. So dropped it off. Then I started seeing a couple of my stream teammates. Uh, quick shout out to my stream team, Andromeda Arcade. Um, and then I started playing more Monster Hunter thanks to an orange fruit who wears onesies that I met through the Pokemon <laughs> that I met through the Pokemon Twitch community because she was hosting open lobbies on her streams. Um, and since then, I went really uh, went in learning how to play the game, getting to know other Monster Hunter streamers, which I met you guys at TwitchCon. Um, as well as like learning more about speedrunning, uh, which piques my interest of learning more about like CGS and lurking into bagel streams as of lately. <laughs> um, and as far as like the two weapons I want to bring in, um, Insect Glaive has been my main. Um, and then maybe my secondary will be either Switch Axe or Dual Blades, uh, because just because I just really enjoyed those two weapons. Um, and obviously, I just learned more weapons along the way. Awesome, Hell yeah. awesome, awesome. <laughs> Hey man, it's good to have you as a as a newer member to the Monster Hunter community. I hope you've been yeah, uh, yeah. really enjoying it, man. Yeah, it's been cool just to uh, play the game, get to know a lot more streamers, and especially the Twitch community has been mm -hmm. like dropping in, helping me carry my ass through <laughs> through those monsters. So they get rough, but I'm having a lot. That's of what the Monster Hunter community is great for, right? Like, it's true. Yeah. anyone can just like pick up this game, and all the Monster Hunter characters are like oh, a new person. Ooh. A new person. <laughs> Let's go. Ooh. Let's Go, a piece of candy uh, <laughs> yeah let's let's go inundate them into the monster hunter addiction it was yeah. funny because i put like grinding to mr50 and i was like level like 36 and they're like oh how cute a new player i'm like yeah <laughs> oh, it's yeah. a new little baby <laughs> <laughs> quick mr check who's 999 uh, I'm grinding ooh, towards it right now. Oh. It's time to it's time to cancel. It's time to cancel. None of us are gamers. Reddit's Damn. Gonna find us. We're gamers. All right, so that yeah, was the card cast not... episode right there. Thanks so much <laughs> <Yeah>. for joining. <laughs> yeah. To be fair, I'm at like 907. Something I'm like not. That. I'm not even I there. Don't, I just don't play casually anymore. Bro, I'm like at like 562. I think so. I'm yeah. like halfway there. Yeah, I'm like halfway. Like PlayStation playthrough is like around 600 i think but Jeez. then i started the new pc playthrough on world and now it's like 150 mr or something and it's <laughs> time to catch up dude by the oh, time wilds so will come out you'll be 999 easy man yeah yeah aren't you aren't you yeah. grinding uh taroth like cold taroth all night tonight too uh tonight yes because i need all my kiar elemental bows oh, yeah 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 shit. i've grinded it so long and nothing well that's not true i got kiar fire but i need everything mm. else <laughs> yeah, and like, especially being a bow user, like that's important. I like know. bow and dual blades, you need cool to rod. Everything else, is like, eh, that's yeah. nice to have. Right, right, but right, uh, right. CB is nice. Like CB works yeah. with it for. Um, Ayatota CB I, is just is almost armor, just as good. It, it just doesn't really? have crit element. Yeah, and the only well, difference yeah. is that it doesn't have an eight crit element. Like that's it. Just give me Trot the crit. are OP like that though. I'm getting sidetracked. I'm sorry. No, okay. <laughs> we're, we're now talking about world again. It happens. Yippee! Yeah, yeah, I mean, that's, isn't that just how we? Isn't that just how we typically speed running? No. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. You have eight hours and twenty-three minutes. 
Oh, oh man. man. Yeah, do we have eight hours and 23 minutes? I'll pull up the VOD. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so our car cast episode just officially turned into yeah, a watch party. <laughs> just one watch yeah. party. Yeah. yeah. Dallas was saying world record it'll just watch be party. For, it'll be for intermission. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it'll, it'll, shit. It'll, it'll be our break materials. When we take a break, it'll be an eight hour and 23 oh, minute break. And we'll come shit. Back. <laughs> uh, oh. All right, just to make sure that we don't go over too much time because I know that we all have uh, things to do after we're done with this car cast episode. I'll introduce myself really quickly too but uh my game my name is nightside you guys know me as phil as well i do a lot of monster hunter as well as other gacha games but um i do predominantly monster hunter content uh and we'll probably start coming back to monster hunter a lot more now that wild is on the horizon uh my first ever monster hunter was uh, monster hunter on playstation 2 hated it couldn't play more than two hours because uh, i didn't know how to fight against a velocidrome and i kept getting bullied so i stopped and by the time, and also mm -hmm. because du dual analog controls is uh, not not a fun time. But yeah. once uh, Freedom, uh, sorry, Freedom it's Two great. came out, I uh, that's when I learned how to really play the game thanks to uh, one of my um, older brother's friends' husbands. So uh, and then the weapons that I'll be bringing into Wilds is most likely long sword and bow. But uh, honestly, so many weapons look so fun to play, and just even barely playing like insect Lab and like sword and shield was so fun. So. I'm really at odds myself right now. I'll probably do like two different character saves while I do like two different mains, but that's that's me. And uh, once again, one 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 more time, huge thank you to you guys for uh, you know for one uh, hanging out with me and hanging out with all of us at TwitchCon. It was a blast, and uh, for agreeing to uh, share some time so that we can uh, do this roundtable together. So I've been uh, really looking forward to this ever since we talked about it. Well, thank you for putting hey. it together. Hell yeah! Yeah, hey, the yeah, brains over here. Thank you for, <laughs> for organizing this. No, yeah, no, no, no. not at all. Uh, no, thank you. That being thank said, you. let's kick thank off you. the uh, very first topic that we got here. We have thoughts Ooh. on streaming at TwitchCon in the Capcom booth. Who would like Hated to start? It. Hated it. Seven, no. <laughs> <laughs> Never want to do it yeah. again. <laughs> Johnny guy was really annoying. Dude, he was just talking over Jal Bagel, and honestly, I wanted to kick him in the nuts. Wow. Every time. <laughs> Bring back yeah, the kick sure. emote so that we can do that in game too, please. Oh yeah. <laughs> also yeah. bring back feeling like kickboxer, you know, so we can really kick him out of the park. You really just do it. <laughs> I'm about to kick you into the Scarlet Forest. <laughs> um, I'll, I'll throw it. my two cents in really quick, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, go for it. I, I thought it was interesting. I was actually so the the streaming part of it, like itself, was fun. Yeah. Um, and it was interesting. And it was unique, and it was something cool to do. Um, an hour, uh, excuse me, thirty minutes is not enough time to no. play that demo. No, no, no. Um, not enough time to like focus on chat focus on the demo and all that and that wasn't the point right like i had half of mine just to be like i'm ignoring chat commentating mm -hmm. what i am doing and you guys get to watch yep um and that probably would have been okay too uh but besides that i mean like the setups were good the the capcom team was awesome at like handling things like uh phil you had a controller like break on you right before i went in you were trying to sabotage me which is probably why i carded that right out wow um <laughs> you know uh but uh it was really neat because like they were they were on top of it right and everyone like was really intelligent about what was going on yeah. they're really communicative you know even we even though we didn't go into it with a lot of information when we got there they like had a plan which was nice yeah um and it made things move smoothly like i had a ton of fun with it you know and and for everything that it was the biggest thing that it was was just getting to play wilds and so you know thanks Agreed, capcom yeah. that was cool yeah 100 um yeah. Yeah, so I'm not a Capcom creator, so I was some, my friend's plus one. Shout out to Snacks Break, um, because he knew somebody at Capcom from the previous event that he went to, PAX West, since they had a demo over there. Mm -hmm. And uh, he had another, another opportunity to play it. So he invited me as his plus one. I had no idea that I was going to be able to stream it or let alone play it. So they just gave me my own booth and I was like, oh, wow, this is pretty cool. It's the first nice. time I ever done something like that at like mm -hmm. an event biggest switch con heck yeah um but yeah my ironically enough speaking of like technical issues i couldn't get my stream running so we ah. spent like at least like 10 minutes i want to say just like figuring out what's going on turns out you just needed to reset the stream key when oh, that was like the, literally the first thing i mentioned to them it's like maybe we have to restart the stream key it's like no gotta log back in log into the you know the service that they were using and 
you know, that one little fix could have just solved everything so quickly. Save um, you a little bit of time too. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, 30 minutes was just not enough. Um, I had a, like a hard time just being able to like get used to the controls. Um, being in like, I hate the fact that like the last five minutes, I finally got things figured out. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was kind of hard to like commentate through it, answer questions in chat and just play the game. Yeah. Yeah, no, for sure. I Definitely. agree. And like, I think that because like, so for to put it into perspective for everyone in the chat, they g technically gave us an hour an appointment, right? But like yeah. that hour appointment was like, it was more like 30 minutes worth of streaming, which is the last 30 minutes. And the first 30 minutes was like, like 50, 50. It's like 15 minutes of like getting your stuff set up. And then 15 minutes of just making sure your controller was working basically because they would yeah. come in and they'd be like, are you guys ready to go? And it's like, I wanted to lie to them and be like, no. <laughs> let me make my battle plan real quick man and like honestly like 30 minutes for one is not enough time to actually show anything crazy you know mm -hmm. and like it, it like, like bagel said it, it's very difficult to be able to like look at chat interact with chat while also trying to show things because like you know obviously we're playing for ourselves but we're also playing you know for our communities too Right. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people that were watching the streams were looking for these cool things, you know? So if, if we only get 30 minutes, it's like really barely enough time for us to actually figure stuff out to show to the chat. But I mean, it's also potentially deliberate. They probably kept it that way. So then that way there's not too much being shown. So then that way people can have yeah. some of that mystery, some of that surprise for sure. when the game finally comes out or when the demo comes out. But I think for us personally, I think like, Personally, for me, at least, I think an hour and a half would have been perfect. Maybe an hour and 15, you know, that would have been a lot more time for us to actually show things off and actually feel like we had like a full experience. Whereas 30 minutes sure. just kind of felt like you're just wetting your whistle. You know what I mean? Unless you're like, yeah. you know, like most of us here, because I think, Joe, you only got to play the one time, right? Oh. Say Joe. I was like, Joe. Yeah, yeah. I only played it once. Gotcha. Whereas, like the rest of us have, have played it at least twice now. So it, it's combined together. We have like maybe about like an hour of like gameplay to actually have messed around with. So it, mm -hmm. it's a little bit more satisfying. But even then, still not enough for at least like one stream session. Uh, yeah. Quick question: uh, How long did it take you guys to take down the first monster before really exploring the world? The do, Dosha Guma? Yeah. Or is it do, Doshu Gamu? No, yeah. Do, 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 Dosha Guma. Dosha Guma. Guma Guma. Yeah. I think so. Yeah, it, took yeah. like, it took Johnny and I like 15 minutes the yeah. first time. Yeah. And then I think Buck and I, it was like a little bit faster, maybe. Mm. Um, But I mean, both the times that like we did it, we were going in with like... Oh, the bow was bow was <laughs> wild. I wouldn't call it overpowered. I was like, look at the numbers. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, when you were a, when you're doing those like word, like big but... shots, they're like seven damage each. But it was like twenty hits <laughs> of seven. Yeah, yeah. Like, okay, yeah it's like two hundred forty <laughs> damage, which is right, right, right. one ZSD for me. You know, like right, right. like yeah. uh, but it was the thing that it was doing a lot of though was like you were creating a ton of like the the like weak points and then just immediately breaking them. So I could like never do focus strike, which was funny. Oh, that'll yeah. Be well, well, which isn't a problem, right? It's just like understanding right. that mechanic, which like we didn't, right. I, I just didn't get it, you know. But yeah. it was, it was definitely interesting because like that like target all the the weak spots. No, but we, I don't know. We went through it, we went through it pretty quickly. We didn't have a ton of time for Ray Dow, um, but that was also because um, you know the quest was uh, for for four people, and um, in our setups for the stream we could only have two people, and so they told us to call in the the AI. So I was actually talking to some other people that were um, that did a group of four in the other booth, in the non-stream booth, where yep. it was four people together, hmm. and they almost killed everything on the map, you know? Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they need, yeah. <clears throat> the demo was like 40 minutes for the, when there was two of us. Mm -hmm. It wouldn't be so right on the edge of taking down Ray Dow. I feel like they just put us right on the edge. Like you have to go in because yeah. we had to take out Doshiguma first, which was like a requirement. Yeah. And then no. yeah. and then we could get after it, but just not quite enough time. Yeah. <laughs> well, I also it was there was a bit of bit of Lance diff in that too. Like I was I was not playing well with that Lance. I was having fun with it. Like Lance felt really, really good, but just didn't know what I was doing. Yeah. Flailing. I feel that. I think for me and Fruitcake, we took maybe 17-ish minutes on Doshuguma 
um and there was a lot of things kind of playing against us because we started off not knowing that we could fall inside the sand trap so you can actually fall oh, through the sand too. trap so that. if that oh, happens that. yeah because like you know how like in the uh the desert map on world there's the the diablos freaking mm -hmm. sand pit uh, right do you mean do you mean the wild, wild spire, spire waste, waste area yeah. <laughs> listen i have yeah, not well, played you know world in such a long seven? time <laughs> I haven't played World in such a long time. Like a lot of names have been like escaping me. I've, just the other day, I right. forgot what Namiel was. <laughs> Squid. But you mean Corsair? It's Uth. Oh my god. Yeah, it's, <laughs> yeah, it's Uth yeah, Tuna, aka Big Tuna. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you can you can fall through like the the freaking quicksand or like the the sand pit, and then it takes you into an underground area that you have to kind of climb out of. So mm -hmm. that took time away from the hunt. Not to mention getting screwed by like the controller, and then getting carded as a, re as a result but i mean it, it was still okay it just sucked because like i'm sure all of us kind of wanted to gun straight to ray dow if we had like the full 30 minutes it wouldn't have been a problem but i think like if you didn't finish your doshaguma hunt in at least like 13 maybe 10 minutes then it was super difficult to try and, and mm -hmm. really really get it to weak status but I mean, um, we were close, Johnny. We got him one thing. Like yeah, we were really yeah. close. We're, we're, yeah, we had him in the final area, and um, like we were just and he limped the hell out there. of it. Yeah, he limped yeah. there. So oh, like, okay. we were getting really close, and then we just it it was like fade to black, and I was like five damn it away. <laughs> if only you know, away. probably though, like actually though, probably legitimately. <laughs> yeah, <but> actually, <laughs> just the upsetting though. part. <laughs> I almost wish that I just went straight in with like longsword. And I think I would probably would have been okay. Like, I, I probably would have at least gotten it to like start limping and stuff. But I really wanted to show Insect Glaive and like Charge Blade because of the, yeah. like the Twitter and like YouTube polls were asking for. Well, that was the uh, that was the point of it, right? Wasn't yeah, yeah. To, like it wasn't it, the point of it wasn't the speed run. Like people were making that joke, like Jow's about to go and speed run. I was like, no, I'm gonna go <laughs> and I'm gonna have fun with it. I'm gonna like enjoy it. And like everyone's like, oh, Jow's gonna speed run You're wilds when it comes wild. out. I'm like, no. <laughs> I'm gonna you know, enjoy like, it. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know when I'm gonna start speedrunning this game. I don't want to speedrun it now. I want to enjoy it. I played yeah. World right. casually for over a year before I started speedrunning it. It wasn't until I started streaming that I like started speedrunning, right? Right. Mm -hmm. And I like that was the point of this was just to like go in, enjoy it, explore, learn, kind of come up with our own opinion about the game, not speedrun. Yeah. You yeah, know. Yeah. So if he didn't kill Ray Dow, he didn't kill Ray Dow. I will say those hitboxes are clean. Oh, they like, are that so clean. Fight, was super super clean i was like adjacent to like the wing slams i was like how did that not hit me that's yeah, right. <laughs> that's nice that's sexy that almost yeah. makes me wish that like i want to see plus yelf come back just to see if that holds true to plus yelf oh. because you know I, I don't know if you know and what you a know plus is jomar but like a plus yelf is like a like a fish leviathan freaking monster fish. um piscine oh, wyvern piscine wyvern P piscine fish fish dragon yeah. fish dragon it's Jurotodus so, but taller yeah basically yeah. Mm. but like swims in the oh, wow. water not in like mud water you know yeah um but basically it, it gets like a hip check that is infamous because it, you could be like literally like two heads away and it'll just <laughs> hit you with a hip check <laughs> like you'd be i was so far wild. away what the heck you know oh wow yeah, Shout outs to hyperdimensional tackle from monster hunter stories <laughs> <laughs> they they knew they knew exactly yeah. what they were Holy. doing yeah, no, it's attack, which is the hip check, is called hyperdimensional tackle. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Sick. <laughs> That's, yeah. uh, with my, um, I'll just real quick with too, with my experience mm -hmm. with streaming it. Yeah. That was, um, I was blown away just to have the opportunity because in this whole world of streaming capcom creators um, monster hunter all that stuff just like an opportunity like that has never happened so i was like mm -hmm. extra giddy i was so stoked thinking about it taking notes on the plane like what do i want to try to do watching shout out miss 5000 watts bow video like mm. five times i'm like all right we got this we gotta remember this this you know and just like super stoked so i was so happy to be able to do it and it was definitely did not feel like a long enough amount of time but still to have the uh the chance to do it was really wild it got me kind of lit up like i don't know about you guys but i was amped afterwards just for the whole world of monster hunter and capcom creators and 
and streaming in general it was it was a really fun exciting experience dude you should have yeah. yeah you should have seen me and johnny when we had the first opportunity to actually try it at oh gamescom gosh. in la like we oh my <laughs> the entire car ride home we didn't want to talk about anything outside of like wow i was just like dude i want to talk but i feel like the only thing that's going to come out of my mouth is monster hunter wilds <laughs> <laughs> Monster Hunter Wilds? Monster Hunter Wilds. Uh -huh. Monster Hunter Wilds. Monster Hunter Wilds. Wilds. Wilds hey, so, yeah. hey, what do you want to eat? Dude. What do you got? What do you want to eat after this? Monster Hunter Monster Wilds. Wilds. Dude, Wilds. I no, did. Literally, we were like, <laughs> yeah. we're hungry. We're like, where do you want to go? Yeah. I don't know. I'm just thinking about Monster Hunter Wilds. Dude, I DM the, the bagel, right? I was Monster like, bro. And he was like, don't do this to me. <laughs> Dude, because you didn't tell me about it beforehand. All you you were like so vague about it the day before. He was like, I think I might have a really cool opportunity tomorrow. I'm like, oh, that's sick, dude. Because like, I know you're like like job hunting and like doing interviews and stuff like that i'm like oh yeah dude that's sick yeah, yeah yeah um that's cool and then like you shared that tweet of the day of you were like wearing all the mh gear and you're like doing something cool today and i was like wait is this guy doing what i think he's doing <laughs> and then we're sitting in a vc and johnny goes uh i have to go and just disconnects <laughs> <laughs> like we were in a call together and he just goes uh, I, have I have to, to leave <laughs> and then just disconnected and I was like where the fuck did he just go <laughs> and, like, and then like 15 minutes later I see his tweet with uh, him in the car with, uh, with you Phil and I was like these motherfuckers <laughs> <laughs> and then you messaged me afterwards like don't you dare don't you even talk to me right now no because we were sitting anymore. down we we're sitting down to the couch and then bagel dms me he's like don't tell me you're out where i think you are and i was like I just sent Whooper P and I yeah, didn't say anything. He, he, saw, like, he sent just an email like, you motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. Oh, That's too that good. Stop my ass looking at flights to LA like, how quick can I get there? <laughs> <laughs> I'll catch him on the way out. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, but I think I think uh, overall, like being able to stream it, um, just like Jomar, like I'm not in Capcom creators, but like having the opportunity, thanks to Bagel for like um, being able to get me in the booth. Because like I wasn't gonna stream it. I I thought I was just gonna be joining Bagel on his hunts, and then he was gonna stream it. And then they yeah. looked at me like, "Do you want to stream it?" And I was like, "Sure." Yeah. <laughs> well, I told you that the day before. I said, "I'm pretty sure you can stream it too. Like if you want to, you can." And you're like, "No, I'm good." And then we get there, he's like, "I'm gonna stream." <laughs> Well, oh, that was I, quick. I'd be, I'd be slipping on the opportunity if I did. Like, Absolutely. Real right, especially yeah, because yeah. they're letting us keep the vods, and I'm oh, like, yeah. that's that's gold yeah. in this situation. Yeah, yeah. and, mm -hmm. and but there was a single clip of Bo. What was that? Yesterday or two days ago? It's got like three thousand. Yeah, yeah. yeah. two days ago on, on mm. Twitter. Six. Crazy man. Jesus. Let's fucking go, dude. Yeah, wow. yeah, Twitter dude. Notor wow. notoriety right there. Yeah, but like that's like the thing, right? Like that's how like powerful of a tool that is like for us as creators. Like we are incredibly fortunate that we got that opportunity. Oh, dude, I've what? done nothing with it so far other than yeah, same. About <laughs> I, need, I need to take advantage of that for sure. I, I've talked should, yeah, about I think, it. I think we and should. That's it. Yeah, I <laughs> yeah. just finished making like a mini digest talking about the things that, I yeah. remembered, so, and that yeah, was yeah, like yeah. it. But then like I'm probably gonna do some more stuff like talking about like you know focus mode and how people shouldn't be sleeping on it and you know why it goes beyond just oh yeah just you know being a beginner tool because it's, it's far from just being a beginner tool it's oh, not yeah. a beginner tool mm -hmm. it's it's the hold on do we have is there a topic about it is. that yeah i guess we can i guess we can yep. You can save it this for this is it. a perfect segue this is a perfect segue <laughs> into the next topic <laughs> yeah right yeah yeah, yeah. We... I think I think so because I, I yeah. actually do want to talk about this yeah. let's talk about focus mode. all right cool well, yeah. I'm gonna because... move that up front let's let's talk let's sure. talk about focus mode let's talk about focus mode because this is the thing mode. this is the thing about focus mode it's better tenderize in every single way imaginable. oh 100 percent. yeah it is it is infinitely better the only thing that i do not like about it is because it's a demo right like it or not even a demo i don't i haven't even been calling it a demo i've been calling it a test build yeah because this isn't a demo this isn't something final is, yeah it's, it yeah. is a it is a it is a proof of concept test build of the game that's constantly changing right they even told us like the build at gamescom <clears throat> was different from the one at pax west was different from the one at uh twitchcon was different from the one at tokyo game show yep mm -hmm. they changed it every time while we were playing it they were enhancing it right mm -hmm. that being said um i didn't know how like the focus mode actually worked with breaking the parts but when you broke apart it was essentially a tenderize and you yep. didn't have mm -hmm. to like 
commit to this gimmicky, you know, clutch claw to the monster, and it's super risky. And if you get hit, you get thrown off, and you get dealt a bunch of damage, and it's a big time waste. And like you, you don't hard control the monster with a clutch. You are it's a it's a part of your attack combos. It's a part of your combos. It's a part of your your natural gameplay. It is not invasive. It is not like disruptive. It's just something that like oh it's time to re-up this and in some cases the like focus mode attacks are pretty good oh yeah you know and like all the all that the focus mode is is just aiming yep that's yeah. it that's all it is and yeah. which is in incredibly <clears throat> beneficial anyone that's ever played world will tell you anytime a monster is on the ground moving good luck hitting it mm -hmm. yeah. it's impossible you know <laughs> yeah especially but if they start leaping like that. nargakuga or like tigrex and stuff like that or even even when you like break something's like wing and it falls yep. onto the ground and it's just flailing around <laughs> focus mode helps you aim at the head still yep it, yep, it, it yep, was yep. such a it was such a good tool mm -hmm. um no i mean it, it, it i don't know i don't know about you guys it felt really natural really intuitive and involved and integrated i think that was the biggest thing is integrated into the system yeah it's just another yeah. deeper layer it's not mm -hmm. this whole separate aspect it's just yeah like you said and very integrated and i will say like especially for charge blade because i was noticing that like the only true way to kind of get into savage acts that i saw was having to go through focus mode and getting the attacks off um the the wounded parts because like I was trying to figure, I was messing around with the controllers and trying to figure it out. Like also trying to go into SAD, which unfortunately I couldn't figure out, but yeah, same. you know, from what they said, there is a way to do it, but I just, you know, couldn't, couldn't do it at the time, but, um, <laughs> need yeah, a PhD. yeah, I do. I need to learn how to read is what it is. Um, <laughs> did they even have that on the, like on the table they had? I, the, so not, but, not the shortcut to it. No, you could press circle five times, times and then, and then end it with a yeah. SAED. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But there is technically oh. a shortcut to it. Yeah. I wonder if it has something out yet. I wonder if it has something to do with like file overcharging. Cause like, you know how you can overcharge your files? I don't, maybe. And, and I don't know. It's just, it's just I something we'd have it. to figure out. Yeah. We'd yeah. have to look into it. But, um, but I did like that, like one mechanic of CB was tied to focus mode. Like you had to get the focus mode hits off to be able to get the savage mode off. Um, oh, interesting. And, so yeah. you held yeah. savage after the focus mode. Yeah, correct. Interesting. Yeah. And, and yeah. it doesn't go away when you sheath too. Cause like, you know yeah. how in like world Ooh. iceborne, if you sheath or so I, rise, I think, yeah, same uh, thing with rise. It, it, it's right. rise savage axe where if you sheath, you keep it. Yeah. 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 yeah exactly interesting i like yeah. no but i like that since it's like tied to that because you can only do that was something else too is like so you have focus mode which is the aiming to break apart to like create a wound mm -hmm. um you can only use a focus strike on a wound yes mm -hmm. right oh, so if there's yeah. no wound you can't do the focus strike it just whiffs like nothing happens mm -hmm. like because it's uh it's kind of a like a sequenced attack like if it connects if the first part of it connects with a wound you do this sequenced attack yes right and then um, if you whiff it, if it just doesn't hit a wounded part, it doesn't do anything. Yep. And I think that's a really good balancing technique for a lot of weapons. And I think that just makes, like like, like we've been saying, it integrates this uh, this function. Yeah, because that's integrated the weapon. into the weapon and not actually the hunt at all. So like, Correct. yeah, with bow, not I can hunt. still do my focus mode attacks and try to go for the big damage the big hits all that mm -hmm. it's not gonna happen yep. unless you have those wounds Ooh. which is nice because then it's all dependent on the monster and how you interact with it compared to the weapon and its functionality yeah i think the cool thing that a lot of people are also sleeping on and part of the reason why i want to make a video about this is because like uh you know obviously focus mode is there to help like you know pop the uh the wounds and stuff like that um but a lot of the um, a lot of weapons are also getting benefits from focus mode. So for example, mm -hmm. I originally, when I made my video about longsword and how I told everyone, it's like, Hey, when you go and do special sheath, you can't spin 180 degrees, right? Cause originally you could like aim in 360 degrees and turn and face whichever direction you were activating the, the skill with. Right. But right. in wilds, if you just do it as it is, your turning radius is like your your correctional radius is probably like maybe 35 degrees of spin or like turn spinning. A lot smaller yeah it's a lot smaller but according to <laughs> another japanese uh player yeah uh, they actually held focus mode to actually aim where they wanted to face the special sheath same thing with the yep. tcs you can aim tcs's by using focus mode now right mid tcs mid tcs too. which is super huge like you can do it beforehand and you can do it 
during. That's that's crazy. Yeah. So wild. you can. Would you get say that it's first land? wild? wild. wild. Oh. Oh. Yeah. I, I've got a new drinking game for all of you guys watching. Every time we say wild drink. Oh my or god. Wild Wilds. drink. <laughs> no, just every, every time we no, say yeah, wild as, as it comes yeah. out. Yeah, wild as a drink. Including that. Including that. Including that one. <laughs> including that one. That, <laughs> including the, the, the example that we're giving. <laughs> <laughs> I'll drink my coffee with you guys. You was, there you go. It was the other cool thing, and I don't know if you noticed this, Joe Jomar, but um, because I know you were playing Insect Leaf, but I was playing Insect Leaf too. I mm. noticed it in the prep phase, right? Mm -hmm. When I was actually like messing around with like Insect Leaf just to make sure my controls were working. But in focus mode, and someone actually confirmed it. Um, a Japanese user actually posted it online. And I think Nick's posted it on her Twitter too. But if you hold mm. focus mode and you start attacking with your grounds, uh, with your ground normals you actually send your kinsect out as a part mm -hmm. of your combo so you actually grab extracts on the ground as opposed to having to send it out every time huh. yeah that was something that i was going to mention is like just have your insect glaive just do combat with you which is pretty cool mm -hmm. just seeing like the animations um everything cleaned up about it just like the whole quality of life change with insect glaive has been really interesting ground combat wise yeah, so and that okay. was nice. that's okay. that's a lot like the assist mode kinsect, the yeah. assist uh, type kinsect from Sunbreak, yeah. right? Like anytime that you would attack, it would send the kinsect out too. But the fact that it grabs um, essence mid combo is is really nice. It's gonna make okay. the flow of insect glaive <laughs> yeah. a lot nicer. Because now you don't have to stop and like grab the essence. Like you have to shoot your bug yeah. out and get it. Now you can just <laughs> do it mid combo, grab it, and then keep going. That's, yep. Yeah. The amount of prep uh, of me just running around trying to get all my buffs going and just be like, hold on, I'll, I'll attack the monster eventually. Just give me like five yeah, minutes, maybe. Like, <laughs> that's yeah, because I recently started playing a lot more IG in World, and like I would notice that like you would have to go out of your way to like, okay, I gotta grab these um mm -hmm. these essences and like get ready, and then oh, I have to charge up my bug now to feed it. Like it's like it's such a drag. Like it slows down the combat, and you're like, uh so I'm kind of glad yeah. that they are doing that now. Oh yeah. And the other way, <laughs> yeah. The, I mean, the only other way to do that is when you do um, uh, diving thrust or di whatever it's called, DT. DT. Yeah. yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Your kinsect picks up essence when it does that too, right? So like, there are other ways to do it. Yeah. But yes, you're, you're right. Mm -hmm. Like it's like every every uh, insect glaive fight. If you go watch speedrunners, it's get triple buff and then start playing the game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It feels like. A lot of what they've done with, I mean, I haven't played very many weapons. All it was was great sword and bow. Because in the public demo, I did great sword mm. accidentally, but we Oops. rolled with it because <laughs> I didn't properly select it. I was too hyped. Um, but can convert like with incredibly yeah. hyped. <laughs> <laughs> but with um, bow, for instance, the fact that we have the coding set up now. Yeah. <clears throat> where mm -hmm. you have this maintenance aspect with bow where you have to stay pretty on top of it with just eight coatings but at the same time then you get infinite coatings which is fantastic that's nice because it feels like it's giving bow another depth and it's maybe bringing a little more maintenance into it but then it sounds like with the insect glaive you're taking some of the menial maintenance aspect of the weapon away i don't know like with switch axe charge blade and all that stuff maybe it feels feels like they're maybe trying to make it so you can actually just stay in the action more yep. mm -hmm. and not have to worry as much about maintenance but still have it there because it's a nice thing like it's fun to be aware of that stuff and to be yeah. Yeah. With it and build it into your combos but not like in a drag yeah. sort of way mm. it, it's especially but, you don't want the inch okay. oh, go ahead phil i was gonna say so it's especially first. huge because like, i'm not like an insect glaive main right but i i, I play yeah. enough insect glaive to understand it so like typically like you know how your movesets change when you get like red um extract or mm -hmm. when you go red white so the thing is is like in 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 wilds it's like you have to have all three otherwise you don't get the enhanced versions of your attacks right right so being able to get right. your extracts that much quicker helps you get into higher dps thresholds much faster right you know and um honestly like it's huge for the early game because um in the early game your your kinsects are slow they're slow as heck mm. but then like yeah. being able to just get the extracts from like toss from like you know sending out your kinsect charging and shooting out your kinsect or even just doing like the ground combos during focus mode it helps so much for like the the extract upkeep mm -hmm. do you have to have all three uh of your buffs to do the spinning pole move or which one is that? I've only seen it. Oh, the stripper dance? Yeah. The stripper, yeah, the stripper, the stripper pole dance? Yeah, that should... I, okay. Yeah. 
I was gonna say from personal use, uh, yeah, I had all three, but it's use. usually just whenever I get to mount, and then they had like a, like one of the focus points, and you're just able to like stab in and just do that pull oh, dance. Yeah, okay. yeah. It, I'm pretty sure I it's the mounted it. finisher, unless I'm mistaken. Okay, mm -hmm. copy. Well, it looks great. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna look great on it in my <laughs> summer uh, bikini wear as my yeah. incredibly buff male hunter oh man i can't wait i can't wait for can't wait. female layered armor on male characters now like it's all i've been Ge wanting gender yep. un unrestricted gendered armor use can, can we get yeah. type two uh Entirely. kieran armor on uh type one body type small please 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 please, yeah. please. Yeah, please. <laughs> no deny us this is oh. all we want so i'm looking brave. respectfully no i'm not, <laughs> I'm, not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm absolutely not uh, <laughs> so what else are what else are people excited for for wilds though like we we talked about like focus but we talked about like some of the weapon changes and the, the secret, um a bird the, the bird the sacred, sacred bird. yeah Dude. actually i okay. have a really good question about sacred but before we jump for it. too too no, much ask it now no ask it now right now right now right now yeah sure. right now for right now, right now. Yeah. okay so we're jumping the topics just a little bit but then uh you know how there's a whole <laughs> there's a whole <laughs> There's Third a whole rules. you guys saw like the the Twitter debate about how like you know the convenience versus like you know oh my gosh. being too Do easy not get and me stuff started. Like that. Yeah. Somebody somebody phone me oh in because God. I'm not that well versed. So people well, are yeah. con conflating uh ease of access with ease of play mm -hmm. and okay. the fact that like the sacred is practically a wirefall but yet these conversations never came up with Wirefall, but they are coming up with a secret. And then when you actually time things out, doing anything with the secret is like three times as long as just doing it's it on wild, your feet. Man. Yep. So it's like, wh what What are you complaining about? You're, yeah. It's a nothing no. argument. It's a literal nothing it's argument. It's actually a nothing argument, but people have blown this out of like proportions so bad. Like we actually talked about this in the last podcast when we were talking with um, the community managers, Joe and Jono about this. And they actually had a really good point. I mean, like for 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 one thing, for everyone to kind of realize is that like the maps are huge, right? They're twice the size of world's mm -hmm. maps by a long shot. And we've seen that literally massive. Exactly. Yeah. And we've seen that with like TGS, you can literally trans like, you know, go from one locale to the other locale seamlessly. Mm -hmm. Right. But yeah. because, you know, the monsters are going to be running a lot, you know, they the, the whole point of being able to go on the sacred, have it auto track to the next monster or to the monster or to any given point just keeps you in the action right you're you're constantly yeah. engaged so even if you're in the middle of a fight right and being able to get picked up and healed away it's really no different from being able to go from you know from one zone to another zone like right. you would in yeah. older monster hunters and heal and then people are complaining or like you know bitching about how like oh but uh, if you go into another zone it's just a waste of time so i just stand over here wait for an open eye heal it's like all right, okay, cool, you man. You can do that too. You, you can, can do that do too. That. Yeah. You can still do that. <laughs> you know, nothing is stopping you from yeah. doing like, that. Like literally, you can stop, stand up, heal, and then get hit again. Like that's fine. You get to play that way. That you get to make that choice. Yeah, it's a hard thing when, like, someone gets used to playing a game a certain way that is technically maybe let's say they view as more difficult than whatever the next installment is then it's like they kind of have a bit of a well i have the right to complain about this yes. because i played it yes. when it was a little bit harder there is in my to opinion it. yeah and then that, that gets rough because that's like not coming from a good place I don't no. know. <laughs> you, you, you hear oh, it a lot with pokemon especially oh yeah oh, yeah yeah, yeah. Like, and I, even yeah. like even like Elden Ring, I beat uh, Royal Consort Radon oh, before nerf. Yeah. I beat I beat this boss before it was nerfed. I did I did, did this before it was nerfed. I beat Alatrion oh, before the Twitch the version of Alatrion came out or the Steam version <laughs> the of Alatrion came out. <laughs> Reddit version, <laughs> Reddit, 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 yeah. Reddit. The one with literally one fifth the health of an actual. <laughs> I love that um, animal so much. That's so funny. Sacred though, real quick before we get too far away. Um, yeah. So. I don't know about you guys, but I noticed like your sacred just chills yeah. wherever mm -hmm. you yeah. get mm -hmm. off, and it just sits doesn't do there. anything. The whole fight it, it watches you, <laughs> it's a dude. The it's got the like chillest right chocobo energy. Just, uh, no, but that yeah. being said, um, I don't know this for sure, but I'm pretty sure it just hangs out in that spot. And then if you get a ways away during your fight and you call it in, that's increasing the amount of time that it's going to take for your sacred because i don't think it follows you 
at all. I'm not exactly I think it does a little sure. bit. Maybe I would say I did a little bit. I think it trails behind. behind. Yeah, there was a couple yeah. times I went to Call in the Sacred and I was like, wow, this is taking quite I've, a while. But well, I've not... sworn I've seen it in like combat a little bit. Or at least like with the well, smaller like it monsters. runs around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It, doesn't, it doesn't participate in the combat, but it'll be around. I'll have to look at that like, again. Right, but I know. felt the exact same way, Buck. Like every now and then, like I'd call it and it either like wouldn't show up or like I, I like it felt like it was just really far away, which right. just might be like AI nonsense. And yeah. Once again, like the... test build. I do think the intent of it is to like for it to follow us, though. Yeah. This mm. build of that is just. <laughs> just but sitting it's like there in the middle of yeah. the fight. It's just looking at you like, damn, you're actually getting more of them, dude. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, everybody else's. <laughs> this is the crazy. Man, you guys are getting your ass kicked. <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> Sacred's like out on like the flower field, just like sniffing yeah. all the flowers, yep, and you're yep. just like, ah! You're just like oh, wailing on a monster. <laughs> I will say though, with the secret as well, like um one being able to customize it more so now that we've seen uh stuff in the trailer, oh, that's yeah. really yeah, cool. Yeah, being able to change the colors um, and whatnot. Yeah. Cause uh yeah, because there was a thing uh Capcom was tweeting about it and I just retweeted it. I'm like, I can't wait to make like a last uh long lasting bond with this fucking goober and like customize oh, the yeah, hell out right. of it. Mm -hmm. um but what i like about it too is that like it has its own pouch so it's kind of bringing back that like palico pouch from uh like frontier frontier had it i don't know what other one not any of the games too. i played well, <laughs> well didn't didn't generations ultimate also have that too where you could they had their own separate pouch and then you can have them just like actually no i might be remembering the wrong no. thing no. yeah i'm I remembering the wrong remember thing my bad frontier yeah yeah so frontier had it where like you give your palico like your like um extra items and stuff like that but it seems like the secret's also gonna have that as well like yeah um it's on it's pouch, its which, pouch. I, which is really cool which i really like because like um now you could just stuff it full of like whatever items you need healing items uh mega dr uh, mega demon drugs and stuff like that yeah 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 so like you have uh that available to you as well um yeah but yeah in terms of the whole like discussion about like oh well mm, you know it's there and it's assisting you and it's helping you i'm like dude we've had we've had palamutes we've had all sorts yeah. of other fucking friends with us like this is no different <laughs> yeah this is, no different. this is yeah. no different from what we've had before so like why secret is just palamute and wirefall into one thing yeah. but it doesn't attack like that's it yeah that's yeah. the only difference and Capcom's so good at being creative with trying new things and not being afraid yeah. of oh anything. dude every oh, yeah. single monster but, in our iteration for then, sure yeah and it's it's awesome there's going to be all sorts of different things you don't want to play the same game over and over. No, so, dude, more oh dude oh my god i need variety yeah, yeah. 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 But being able to do have you know the two <clears throat> different with portable mainline blah 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 however all of that works and being able to get rid test of that stuff out more <laughs> yeah. yeah right <laughs> monster hunter <laughs> they get wild with sunbreak but being able to bring some Break. of those things that really did work tone it down add it into mm -hmm. a world that is more based and founded in grounded with more grounded yeah. in the world it's it it's great yeah, yeah like uh cb with savage axe now they brought back the whole um you can hold down the attack button while you're doing savage axe and you still do that um hold with it right like it's still yeah yep. the the chainsaw effect and yep. i I'm, i love that from rise and great I was like, Damn. yeah i'm like i'm so glad that they're bringing it into wilds now because like now you get that but you don't now you also have the effect of like if you put it away, it doesn't get rid of Savage Axe anymore. Yep. Like you still have it out. So like, <clears throat> great change. Thank you, thank you, Capcom for like change. bringing that in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. This is like I I don't know if anybody else has got me, but Capcom's got me on that one thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, I wanted to mention about like the UI changes. I thought those were like super clean and just oh, super yeah. easy mm -hmm. to look at and navigate everything. Mm -hmm. Dude, whoever so designed about... the okay. Oh, I was gonna say, who, who? How do we feel about Wiggly Health Bar? I love it. Show oh. of hands, who's a, who's a Wiggly enjoyer? I'm Show a Wiggler. Right who's here, a Wiggler? Dude. I'm a Wiggler. So I like, I, I like the change. Yeah. yeah. The reason I'm definitely turning it to the simplified one because they yes. did say that there was a simplified one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm definitely yeah. turning it to that. But I think the Wiggly is cool. Yeah. I wonder. Like, watching. Oh, oh, sorry, I didn't mean. No, you're good. Go ahead. Go for it. But like, <clears throat> watching gameplay without playing it, that's one of the first things you notice, mm -hmm. and it Correct. seems like it's way out of control yeah. when actually playing it i literally never never you don't pay, you don't pay attention to it it's just that at all it's yeah. just not at all something on your radar it's there it's cool whatever but mm -hmm. like so it can make sense people watching it like i don't know that that seems super distracting and it yeah. kind of is when you're just watching gameplay but when you're playing it's like 
it's it's fine i never even noticed it at all yeah, yeah. Like, plus yeah. plus the way that it also like tells you when the the next hit's gonna be like a lethal hit um which i thought was a really nice addition to that as mm. well because yeah. like it'll flash red like it'll start like really flashing your face red which is that was, what that means yeah yeah, that that's gonna be yeah if you're gonna take a, it's just gonna be a big attack it's a big attack usually it's a big oh, attack yeah because yeah, yeah. yeah. i've eaten real guns from radal before and yeah. it would start squealing a lot but it wasn't like a kill yeah. Yeah, 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 it was just like, the here gun, comes yeah. a big attack. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Railgun, man. <laughs> yeah. The Railgun He's Railgun Kun. Yeah. yeah, I love him. Railgun Kun. Real he doesn't have another name. Yeah. I love him. But um, but I'm kind of curious too if like um the um <laughs> the static version of the health bars is going to have that as well, kind of giving you that. Yeah, like, it'll flash. As a, it's I'm, I'm assuming, yeah, like. I'm thinking in my brain, like, it's like such an easy, just like a. Whoosh, yeah, just red. A little effect. <laughs> Yeah, and oh, like yeah. it makes your whole screen red too. Like everything flashes red yep, yep. when it happens. I think a huge thing with UI two, uh, which we didn't really get to experience in the demo at all or anything like that, or the test run, whatever you call the job, which is much better to call it that anyway. Play test, test um, build. The test, test build. build, yeah, yeah. Test build, yeah. So um, the mantles, being able to have a timer on your mantle. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, and, and timer on statuses. Icon. Yeah, yeah. oh god, the timer right on the statuses. Yeah. Hmm. yeah, and the t oh yeah, this is true. <laughs> um, like but night like, hmm. side, that tells me how long the stun is gonna last, <laughs> Good. which changes literally nothing about how <laughs> I play the game, but I'm gonna complain about it because I would like to have a heart attack before I get hit by the attack. <laughs> Go back to your corner. <laughs> I can't I can't wait to turn this into a short. You hear yourself, Reddit? I was gonna say with IG, yeah, they had like you has indicators and you could just like see it go down and be like, okay, I'm prepared for like when I'm gonna get debuffed. So yeah, like who doesn't outside the people that are being annoying about it, but like who the hell doesn't want to get notified about those kind of stuff? Like I would love to know when the stun's gonna be going away here soon, or when my um. I really hope effluvia isn't gonna be a thing, but when effluvia is gonna go away, right? Yeah. Um, just gatekeeping it because yeah, but just, it's, it doesn't change get, gameplay at all. It doesn't. Actually, it really doesn't. Use yeah. There's no point. And I'm pretty sure there's a way you could turn that off too. Like I'm pretty yeah, sure it is sure. gonna be a, a UI setting well, you that can you're turn like all UI elements. Oh, yeah, off. they're all independent. Yep. And yeah, they have so, been since World. So like, actually, no, they have been since Three Ultimate. Every yeah. UI element has been in, like separate. Like you can turn off each one individually since the ultimate. Yep, yep, yep. Mm -hmm. It was the mm -hmm. funny thing I is, love you it's second like, screen. <laughs> we we've been playing so much like you know like Monster Hunter games, right? It's like you would assume just naturally, especially because like timeline wise, like it keeps going forward, right? You would just assume that as time passes by, we as hunters have also advanced ourselves. So like, why would we like just keep ourselves in the stone ages of like freaking hunting? I was like, let me just chuck this paintball. You know what I mean? We have like freaking yeah. birds. We have scout flies and stuff like that. And like, I get it. I trained yeah. this animal yeah. to <laughs> sniff out the monster. Yeah. Or like, no, instead of like walking a past like miles upon miles of freaking sand, you know, like we have a freaking mount to help us like carry across like just acres of like land while we're chasing these monsters. Like, no. Nah, if you if you really want to make it difficult yourself don't use your sacred you know that's that's totally fine yeah. that, that's your gameplay experience just just don't like, bitch about it for everyone else because you don't speak for everyone no else. actually do keep bitching about it it's content we get oh true, true 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 <laughs> big brain big brain <laughs> big brain <laughs> come up with the wildest shit that you could possibly get potions healing you oh my god Absurd. actually no People well done about states potions and rise you remember Wait. that when the people oh. complained about potions and rise because they gave you the initial burst and then healed over time? Which and people we're, also were bitching about this. that. <laughs> Ugh, why? There's, there's no why? pleasing everyone. When it used to work like that beforehand, anyways, when you would chug a potion and it was just instantly all come back. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, but we but it's new. It's different than the last game that we all adore and love, and so we're gonna bitch about it until the next game comes out. <laughs> I, would I don't put like change. A thousand dollars. I'm gonna put a. Th I would put a thousand dollars on it, saying that the moment Wilds comes out, someone's yeah. gonna go. I miss Sunbreak. I miss Rise. Cool. I miss the, the, the <laughs> entire community as a Easy. whole is gonna be like Rise was such was the best Monster Hunter experience that had the hardest difficulty and the best post game and all this shit. And this is what Wilds can learn from it because Wilds is a piece of dog poo. <laughs> Actually, Alchemy Style is the best. I miss it. 
Oh my god. <laughs> okay, but like actually alchemy style is the best and I do miss it. <laughs> <laughs> you could turn the like, barrel bomb into a rocket and use that like, to kill things. That was so cool. But you like, couldn't no freaking bowl with it in wild. I like you can't wild. Man. So now we have bomb I have a gun. bowling. Uh, <laughs> Dude, just okay. wait for like when we know monster paths, if we can start to learn. Oh my that, god, start places, setting them up. Throw off a bomb off a ledge and let it roll. And oh, like, dude, yeah. You know, like, there's gonna be. I can't so wait for the trick shots. I know, right? right? I oh, yeah. Shots. Oh, so great. Yeah. Also, all these little, like, gripes and conversations that people are having, like, on Twitter and stuff that are pretty ungrounded. Most of those are gonna immediately go away when the game comes out. Too. Oh yeah, but, no, no, no. it's a vocal it's, minority. It's something to talk about, something to yeah, get riled up about. It's but content. Like when we clout, 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 yeah. clout, clout, clout. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, like, like, uh, not to get off the rails, but yeah, negative, uh, negative conversations generally lead to interaction, right? Yeah. Like, it's just yeah. Twitter as a whole. Like, Twitter, Twitter feeds itself off of divisiveness. Mm -hmm. So when you post, like, I had such a great day and everything's wonderful and I love my friends, you get like four mm -hmm. likes. And when you post, DJ Johnny sucks ass and literally is the worst human being ever, you get like five likes, and you're like, mm, mm, I like wow. this. I, I like that. <laughs> that <was nice>. <laughs> Huh? No, no there's some people that hate me. Know. It's okay. You, I, I think I think you're right though. Like the game's gonna come out and people's gripes are gonna immediately disappear. That's kind of what I've, like what I've been saying to people because mm -hmm. they're like, I don't like this change. I'm afraid of this change. Like focus mode is scary. The sacred is scary. All this is scary. It's like the moment you pick up the game, it's gonna be fun. Yeah. Yep. And also, you have to trust that because you, you're only seeing one half of it, which yep. is these tools being used against the first three monsters of the game. Mm -hmm. These are not. These are not our Magnum Allos. These are not our Kushaladoras. These are not our Gormagalas or Xenojivas or Nergigantes or whatever have you. This is not Primordial Malzeno. You know, this is Jagras. Like, like great Jaggy, great Jagras, great Rogi. It's the beginning of the game. These things are going to be pushovers. That's just how they're designed. Yep. Mm -hmm. And you're, and they're, they're literally designed so you can learn the tools on them. So the tools are going to be really good against them, right? Focus mode is going to be good. Offset mm -hmm. strikes are going to be good. Mm -hmm. um, you know, breaking the wounds is going to be good against yep. these things. Like Dosha Guma literally having a mechanic where its wounds open back up is to teach you to wound the monster. So you yeah. get a benefit mm -hmm. for it later in the hunt, which I think is cool. Yep. That's no, yeah. That's no, it. yeah. I do that if it scars though once it scars it's over though right no well like uh it has a it has like apparently has a specific like enraged mode where like its muscles swell up and it opens those yeah. wounds back up so yep, if you've okay. created a wound there once before it'll just recreate a tenderized right. spot there yep. hmm. okay i, I think so, that was like, a mechanic specifically for Dushiguma. Yeah, it, it's 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 just it's just him. It's kind of and it's very similar to uh, Savage Devil Joe mm -hmm. when he gets enraged and like his wounds open back up and he gets all like, blah, 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 you know, very Fleshy. similar to that. <laughs> Fleshy. Really? I'm just saying, though, like the moment that this game comes out, like a lot of those worries are just going to melt away and you guys are going to be like, oh, it was designed with this in mind. Like <laughs> yes. they thought about this. <laughs> yeah. I've like, been thinking about this stuff for a long time. Yeah, it's been in development since 2018. And this it game is, ca was in can, development. Yeah, when World came out. Just to add it's to the whole thing it. about wounding too, it's like the thing that's great mm -hmm. about Wilds too, and you know this is especially after talking to the community managers, is that I mean the, the design philosophy is very clear. They're meant mm -hmm. to keep the entire experience seamless, right? So they're trying right. to keep you more engaged. They're trying to keep you in the hunt. They're trying to keep downtime as small as possible, as low as possible. That's why like the sacreds exist. So you can call them, they can pick you up right off the floor. They can, you can heal, you can sharpen while you're doing that, you know, just so it can keep you in the hunt. You're not ever actively putting yourself out of it unless you absolutely have to. That's a, that's a conscious yeah. decision that you have to make. And then the mm -hmm. other thing is too, is like with wounding, the best part about wounding in this game that a lot of people might be overlooking is that you don't have to use focus mode. You don't have to try and go out of your way to use these focus strikes because the wounds will still exist and they will pop over time as you deal damage to the wound oh, naturally. They do. It will yeah. pop. Yeah. Mm. 
Oh, I so, noticed that. So exactly. then are they, uh, does, I didn't notice this. I was like too enamored of the game. This is like the one question that I, I still haven't gotten answered. Mm -hmm. Are wounds separate from part breaks or do just part breaks not exist? I don't know. I would actually like, imagine- you're like breaking horns and, and stuff like that. And like parts were like chipping. Uh huh. I just don't know. Like, well, maybe, maybe yeah, I don't know. Maybe like, like Ray like, horn. Part one of them was broke. Yeah, yeah. I remember. we did. I like we were breaking, breaking parts. I just wonder if it's like separate from the wound now, right? Because like yeah. in World, you had your you had the part you had the um, hit zone value for the part, the part broken, the part tenderized, and the part broken and tenderized, right? Like it, the hit zone value changed constantly because of these different states. And so I'm, uh, I am thinking in a in a very more technical way that like is that still going to exist here? in the same way actually makes Ooh. me wonder now because like i, I i'd imagine that like right? as you're doing damage to like let's say for example the for, theoretically you're doing damage to the horn right so over mm -hmm. time you would be you would probably get to Breaking a wounded it. part before you actually got to the break right like that oh, would yeah, kind of yeah, make yeah. sense right yeah but, so so i was gonna say i didn't notice that like um in terms of like wounded parts like the head and stuff like that so like i wonder if that's tied to like horn breaks and stuff like that because i did notice bagel during our run that we would have uh the head being wounded and we would do the um the focus mode and it would like i don't know if it would break is the word i want to use um but it did inflict uh a little bit more damage and then like the horn broke after so i, I don't know i i'm 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 i like, swung the axe i know you did i know you're you're <laughs> swinging low swing so we shared it um so like i'm kind of curious to see if like because you, if you do enough damage to those wounded parts too, like you do get um, pieces falling off of it, and you get monster materials piece like right. from that as well. So like, see, this is what I said. Tenderizing needed to be from the start, man. They listened to me. Rioza <laughs> watched the stream. I knew it. Yeah, knew I knew it all along. Jow bagel. He has a point. <laughs> He's got a point. Nice. Hire that and man. That brings in another aspect of the focus mode in the wounds too, where it's not being pushed in your face because you. You're, yeah, you're dealing damage, you're creating wounds and everything, but if you want a visual representation of where you're at and where the wounds are, and then also to do your focus strikes of whatever sort, then you go into focus mode. But it's all happening in the background, even with it, you know? Yeah. It's kind of nice that you don't have these Seamless. big red blobby wounds all over during the whole hunt. Yeah. Um, yeah. It, yeah, but you're still interacting with it regardless. Adding to that, one thing that I really liked about focus mode and uh, sorry specifically fo the focus attacks is that there's more than there's uh there's two benefits so obviously you get to break the wounded part so long as that you make contact right but mm -hmm. uh and we already touched based on this a little earlier but um w the uh the focus attacks themselves actually have a second benefit and it, it's very and it depends on the weapon for example with insect glaive right after you do your attack you actually launch your kinsect right at the monster and it picks up like two or three extracts while you're at it that's cool. Yeah, mm -hmm. with longsword, you actually get a spirit level gain out of it too, because it's it, you, in in the attack you actually do like a quick little like round slash in one attack, and then in another one it's like a V slash that you know gets your gauge up. Um, I I don't know what it is for like other weapons, but I know I noticed that for at least for for insect glaive and for longsword, those are like two really big ones, and obviously with charge blade, that's how you get into savage axe mode too, is the focused attack. Yeah. Yeah, I couldn't figure it out with Switch Axe. I was getting like a little tilted because I really wanted to use it. I just like couldn't figure out how to do it, but I got the offset attack off and I was like, that felt good. Yeah. I only did it once. So I wanted to see how many more times the offset attack like would actually work. You know, like, is it, does it just work every single time? Because then if, that, if that's the case, then like, which I don't think it is, you know, like I think you can get punished out of it. There's got to be like some way to know that like an offset attack is going to work here. Yeah. Yeah. Cause like it literally knocks the monster away and like it knocks them down and you get like another you know whole opening yeah I think yeah there's uh the bow focus strike when i i gotta go back through the footage but i noticed one because i'm making a video right now and kind of diving in and then i noticed i did do my focus strike one time while there was a wound on the monster but there was no follow-up attack 
like you didn't get like a, a prompt or anything oh like that yeah that yeah. happened a couple times to me too yeah yeah and i and then it made me question i'm like wait is this mechanic fully built around just whether there's wounds i would imagine so because there's nothing to yeah do like the yeah no or anything it just yeah. was like the focus strikes so have to be on a wound in a, yeah the proper prompt i guess or something but i, I yeah. think i yeah. think the <laughs> wounds themselves um i think you just have to be like very precise with the actual focused attack because i've had mm -hmm. it a couple of times before where i was playing longsword during the game gamescom build and i i swear to god that i was aimed at the wound right but it wouldn't proc because like the the leg would just shift up just two centimeters up and it was just high enough for me to like whiff it and and i think yeah, someone asked this in, boxes. yeah <laughs> and to, to answer i think someone asked this in the chat a little earlier but there is like the only negative for to you <laughs> missing your your focus attack is that nothing happens right nothing happens yeah, yeah. nothing happens you, you just you know lose time it's like on, an attack. exactly you yeah. just whiff that's all it is yeah like the like the best way to think about it now is that every single weapon has some sort of mechanic that kind of operates like um the power shield and lance like if you use the power shield and lance but it doesn't get hit which nothing happens or like point uh, um the uh the guard point with charge blade like you try to guard point but you just don't get it just nothing happens you know <laughs> like it's it, that's kind of like how it feels it's like oh i did the thing but it didn't interact and so it just kind of fizzles out and nothing happens yeah, yeah. But now every weapon has that. Good. Everyone can complain Good. now. Yeah. I'm just gonna go in and stabby stabby. If I <laughs> see yeah, marks, that's all. Bong. That's all. Yeah, that's hey, all. Hey. Hey. <laughs> when in doubt, stab it out, you know? <laughs> I think since we're already in the, like the topic of like just like features that were in the game, mm -hmm. let's talk about mm -hmm. maybe you know, were there any other like big changes or differences that you guys noticed in terms of like maybe the weapons you played? environment or you know anything else that you guys notice obviously we already touched based on like ui changes and stuff like that and yeah i don't think we've we've mentioned well, yet say... but whoever designed like the the ui for the map i love you oh yeah because that thing is clean and Three so easy to read so good yep. not only I that, need that... You open it up and it's a full overlay all right you're not it's yeah. not a whole new menu it's an overlay that you can interact with right there zoom in zoom oh. out up down all that that's Rowdy. great for speed running you can even catch you see what's going on around you the Shush. whole time <laughs> what yeah. the heck that's incredible uh yeah. i will say this i like how they changed environmental traps yeah mm -hmm. um because they're everywhere now and yeah. not all environmental traps are built the same yeah no. notice that very very quickly because in world all of them are five percent damage uh and the knockdowns kind of vary like the knockdown times kind of vary yeah right mm -hmm. um but in wilds some of them did and these are arbitrary numbers some of them did five percent some of them did two percent i don't know if those are actually the numbers but they definitely some did more and some did less um and the knockdowns that followed were sometimes knockdowns sometimes they were trips sometimes they're just small staggers and the monster just turned back around and kept fighting um and that was that was a cool change right because like if you think about it you know like why do all of the rocks regardless of size do the same thing like yeah. no yeah. to have a little variety and now the tools interact a little bit differently and it makes us think a little bit differently about how we're going to use those tools in the middle of a hunt in the whole <laughs> environment having different traps that do different damage and then mm -hmm. learning that learning where you want to lure monsters which from what i understand now paintballs obviously don't mark monsters but lure monsters i heard this somewhere is that mm. does anyone else well there's a it? there's a lure pod yeah um lure that pod. but it's so not there the they, pod. that's not the paintball yeah okay but the lure mm -hmm. pod um you know like with um behemoth or safi right. jiva when you got like it's aggro it drew the line yeah. right yeah. the enmity line this does the exact same thing so the lure pod you can oh. use that and you can drag them across the entire map <laughs> and into other areas to, right. it, to other monsters or to like the trap that you want to like get them to like the environmental trap that you want to get them to so like i saw that the That's tgs showcase cool. and i was like that is a very strong <laughs> yeah. rta tool and i am here for it <laughs> oh, dude. i am going 100%. to abuse that we are going to take advantage of that so hard <laughs> i was talking about this with my buddy that i was streaming with and like you know the atmosphere it will get like this like stormy weather i mm -hmm. love the fact that like there's oh, light yeah. random lightning strike just oh, comes yeah, yeah. out of nowhere and strikes the monster i'm just like did you see that i was like no i didn't notice that and then i showed him in like our vod <laughs> yeah. and it's like it's like oh wow the environment it's so 
fun. <laughs> yeah, I got Art, hit by one of those. Yeah, Art oh, Doshaguma got hit by, by one too. It was actually pretty mm -hmm. sick. I was like, yeah. damn, that damage. <laughs> that's awesome. I think that's so cool. Like the, uh, the, uh, man, the environmental like aspects of this, the fact that we have like three different weather conditions, we'll just call them that, the different yeah. times of day, um, and those affect like how the environments look even. When they were showing mm -hmm. off the, the Scarlet uh, Forest, how there's a flooded version and an unflooded version and i'm mm -hmm, like mm -hmm. homie that's cycles. cool so being able to rest to change those yes. cycles as well mm -hmm. whenever you want mm -hmm. like, yep. so yeah yep. so like kind of going off of that too because um what i what i noticed uh from the last trailer that we just got um that i was geeking out about um i like that every and what the the a major uh environmental change is called an inclemency yeah so that's what they're calling it now um and those are tied to the pr uh alpha predator monsters that are coming in so like ray dow and um the others uh i already forgot the fish the eel fish one big tuna all the with Duna. Oh, um it sounds um, like it's uh there's there's a voice line in the monster hunter language um that ftl says in field field team leader says in world where he goes yakuda and i'm like yeah that's good monster hunter language. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the, the uth duda like immediately made me think of like ooh, that's good uh, monster hunter like language sounding name i like that give me more mm, of those because yeah, all yeah. of arena is not that right no <laughs> but like uth duna oof, absolutely more mon hunt names ray dow actually a good mon hunt name yeah, it's it's not a bad one, but um, but yeah, going back into like the environments and stuff, I do like that those major environmental changes tied to those monsters now, which is really cool because yeah. we we never we've kind of had that, and this this is a discussion Barely. that I was having before, right? Because like, um, elder dragons are known to like change the environment that they're in, right? Yes. Like that's their whole shtick. Yeah. Um, and I like that we we didn't really have that. Like it, it was barely there. Like, yeah, it doesn't exist some, at all. Well, cause like every time like monsters would appear, like I'll give the example of Kushala. Kushala appeared, there were tornadoes, like not big, but they were still, no. they were still. The most that right. we got of that though, is like in world, if there is an elder dragon on the map, the weather was physically different mm -hmm. in the map, but it didn't have yeah. any like, it didn't have it didn't any like effect. mechanical effect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. So yeah. like if uh, Teostra was there, it looked like a little hot, you know, yeah. if Kushala was there, there were storm clouds. If mm -hmm. Valhazak was there, who cares? You're in the uh, Rotten Vale anyways. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But yeah, but like <laughs> you're in hell anyways, so yeah. who cares? <laughs> but with this you're now, like around. a lot of the the inclemencies that are happening are actually like a mechanic that's gonna shape the entirety of the environment. Like mm -hmm. um, for example, the the flooding, like you can actually be dragged away from the flood. Like that is a thing that can happen. That I think <laughs> that's in that is so crazy to me that that could happen. Like yeah. One minute you're fighting, and then just uh, just this wave just appears and takes you away. You're like, well, <laughs> feel like Rathalos uh, when you uh, blow up the wall. Oh yeah, with in, the in the ancient oh, forest yeah. by the ancient forest camp in away. the nest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tables. <laughs> yeah. So just like, up, uh... oh sorry. No, go for it. Well, in clemency, which I don't know if you guys knew, I didn't know this. It says the state of being unpleasant, especially when it comes to the weather. That's mm. the... Mm. I like that. I'm half of that description. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's my entire state of being, actually. <laughs> Sorry, but I just wanted to continue. Sorry. Yeah, no, so like, I, I'm, it's kind of interesting that they actually gave that like feature a name now, like that is a thing, and oh, it yeah. is tied to the monster that affects it. So right now we have the, the sandstorm with the thunder and everything, and like shit's going wild. Like, thunder strikes are just coming down. Yeah, it's... It, <sighs> That is, that is the one thing I've always wanted from Monster Hunter, from the series itself. Like, I want the environment to also play, like, it, yeah, we can use it to our, uh, our advantage, but also play against us yeah. uh, while we're hunting. Because that is a thing that, like, when you think about it, like, the whole premise of Monster Hunter is, like, going out, um, fighting against the elements, as well as fighting against the monster itself. But now we actually have that um that joining of those elements now like not only the monsters fighting against us but now the elements are also going to be fighting against us as well um and uh can definitely hurt us in a way of like either uh hitting us with big lightning strikes or sweeping us away in a giant uh um you know rainstorm it's, it's like those things that like i'm real like those are things that i'm gonna like 
Man, I got fucked up by that wave, but man, that was such a cool wave. <laughs> yeah, this right? is a this is a thousand percent of mechanic that I'm gonna be really excited about when I play through the game the first time, and then when I go to finally speed in the game, I'm gonna be like, fuck this <laughs> lightning bolt, <laughs> this flood, fuck this sandstorm, fuck all this stuff because it happens at random times. I'm getting struck by lightning, and I hate it here. It reminds I'm be me so mad. <laughs> it reminds me of so much when like Breath of the Wild came out and just like have these environment changes. Oh and my god, like the it. lightning storms and stuff. <laughs> Yeah, everyone gave oh, it like so much. God. Yeah, everyone gave it like so much praise. Like, oh, this is nice, very cool weather conditions. And then, like, you know, a couple months later, it's like I hate the environment changes. <laughs> I, I always it. slip. My stamina keeps on depleting. It's. I feel like that's what we're gonna feel like when we get oh, into yeah. wilds for sure. Why did the Why does rain have to make every surface slippery? Like, <laughs> I'm certain there's got to be something that's easier to climb when it's wet. No. Lava? Lava's wet? Can lava be there, wet? There you go. Mm. Can lava be wet? There's a great question. Anyways, tell us in the in the is comments it, below yeah. in this video. <laughs> can lava, can lava, can lava be wet? Be wet? Be wet. Is lava wet? <laughs> <laughs> is lava wet? <laughs> the answer also, may confuse yeah. you. <laughs> Speaking of like water and waves and stuff with Uth Duna and that one attack Duna. where it like comes down. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Comes along. Oh yeah, um, that was so cool. What I wonder if that does damage to you or knocks you off your sacred or something like Ooh. that. But for the fact that the Zada. actual monster is also interacting with the environment, like physically, mm -hmm. to create oh. attacks like that. Yeah. Like that that I don't It's very, very cool. I haven't fought hmm. all the monsters, but I I can't think of anything or any of the closest thing that, that we've had, I think, I, right? Yeah, I would just say like Namiel, yeah. right? But Nami she El makes a puddle on the ground water. that she interacts with, right? right? Yeah. You know, like that makes a wave or like mm. that does something. But this is like kind of Uthduna is just like in a in a slightly like flooded area and yeah. can right. slam on the ground and create a wave. Yeah. Like right. that's that's really neat. Depending I hope it doesn't do a ton of damage like yeah. in, in, I in, the one in shot Namiel. Out. No. <laughs> I don't No, 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 yeah no yeah that would be that'd be goofy it'd literally just be the um the like thunder rings on narwa where you had to like cl like jump over it like, it's, like oh like, a puzzle yeah. Puzzle. yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> hmm. i want a flying just... swallow jump with the bow over there <laughs> <laughs> like, right over it. that'd be like, sick I'm, though i'm gonna that'd style so cool. on this bitch right now <laughs> dodgeball <laughs> freaking flying so... swallow <laughs> listen I, I, all i'm saying is that was like the coolest part of rise and like sunbreak was like when they put Soaring Wyvern Blade into the game for Switch Axe, and I could start using that to jump uh, over yeah. attacks and like do cool oh, shit. I was like, I don't care. This is slower. This looks cooler. I don't give a shit. <laughs> oh, 100%. Yeah. This is so much um, cooler. Yeah. Any uh, any other weapon changes that you guys like noticed that you guys are particularly excited about that we haven't already discussed? I mean, we already talked a little bit about like Charge Blade, Savage Axe and the way that like bow kind of works now with like the the coding and so whatnot anything else you guys noticed that particularly stood out to you guys either from like our time playing monster Hunter wilds at twitchcon or like even just from anything you've seen from the trailers they fixed a switch axe <laughs> they fixed it okay, i'm actually interested to fixed. know more about switch axe because like i fixed. didn't get to touch it whatsoever <laughs> it's fixed. it's good now all you have to so, know is it's perfect now <laughs> it's perfect now um <laughs> switch axe's best iteration was monster hunter 4 ultimate yes um and everyone will agree with that and if you disagree with that you're wrong um Ooh, and okay. i and i say and i say this uh i say it because of this in world um the biggest problem was like clutch claws zsd sticking to the monster zsd zsd spam zsd 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 it's too easy to get back into amp state for zsd yeah i struggled I that he... go, go. yeah I struggled at getting into amp state in wilds period mm. and it wasn't mostly like uh this is too tedious it was just like I didn't understand the monsters I don't know like what part of the combos I should be going for yeah your opening and, um, and whatnot. The, yeah and the way that it stands now even at 50 percent um like sword energy you can't get a full charge you could in world you cannot get a full amp state uh in wilds like that and I like that because it forces you to use axe mode and axe mode is still good like i have to tell people that in world like axe mode is still like good still usable um hi Kyrie. oh look at that pop but like it pop. this game um brings back the switch axe because before it was sword 
period yeah like like power sword like that's all it was like in world it was power sword in in rise it was counter power sword like that was it mm. um but in wilds it feels like we have to use both and using both still works and they i don't know like switch x switch x felt really good if as long as like element file still feels good and like status file still feels good and if they do the um uh rise thing where like element and status charge up faster than power does like i'll be happy about that yeah, you know? yeah but the only thing that i couldn't figure out like i just couldn't figure out everything to do with the weapon but they added follow-ups to um zsd like they added a follow-up to zsd which is oh. similar to the compressed elemental discharge from yeah. uh, sunbreak which was the spin um oh, yeah. it was the replacement for zsd and sunbreak like you could switch between either zsd or compressed ed um ced but uh Perfect. now <laughs> now it's in the same kit you 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 elemental discharge and then after you like explode you can do the spin Oof. and then immediately out of the spin you can go morph straight back into axe mode and keep attacking and i'm oh. like that mm. that that feels is good. amazing that's on paper that, that feels, just sounds mm. great right oh yeah well like it's, it keeps the flow of combat moving yeah and since now like with every weapon your normal just like attacks so you can like kind of shift left and shift right and shift forward and shift backwards as you're doing it like every weapon can do that now in mid combo like shoot 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 like as they're doing stuff and i'm like that feels good because like you have these micro positioning changes that get you closer to the monster so you can do your big combos and you can do the big things that like make you feel good and your brain juices feel great yeah <laughs> and i don't know i just i everything that i've felt about switch act so far it was really good and i think i only discovered like half the new things right like i didn't do the focus strike and there was another uh attack that i just didn't do because i didn't know the buttons for yeah yeah all of it felt good i like switch acts it's gonna be we're gonna have so much to do and so much to explore Oh, and yeah. interact with with every weapon like the fact that they've done so much too with focus mode and everything i know everyone's like oh bring new weapons and but like oh, they talked about that too yeah we got mm -hmm. 14 freaking weapons that are have a whole new mechanic with focus mode but it's yeah. still integrated we get to learn so much about it all over again like, we're golden <laughs> oh, dude, it feels 100%. new it feels new. yeah, Man. yeah. yeah. Yep. It's like a palette refresher with a lot of the weapons and stuff, and like focus mode just adds to that. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I don't. Uh, I'm. I'm. I'm just gonna put it out there now. Like, I don't want any more weapon. Like, if we do get another weapon, it needs to be Tonfuss. Or or Magnus. Why? Yeah, that too. Magnus back would mean, be cool. And Tonfuss. Yeah. yeah. Like you know, we've had those weapons before, and and like I I played around with Tonfuss a little bit in Frontier, and like they're they're disgusting and they're fun. Um, because <laughs> they're essentially just let me put weapons on my hands and feet and just go wild on this monster here punch uh yeah punch oh, take a shot smile oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Shot. <laughs> yep. Shot. um but yeah like i will i will say though like my only the only criticism i have with focus mode with cb is the fact that like savage axe is tied to it yeah um i wish and again this is only from what i've experienced i don't know if somebody else out there has figured it out but um, if Savage X is tied to focus mode, that's kind of like a. I, I kind of wish that wasn't the, the the way to do it because it does mean that um, for those that want to do more Savage X uh, gameplay, we are gonna have to do more focus modes and like there's gonna be times where um, there are no parts for for us to to uh, do focus strikes on right. Yeah. And then now I can't do now I can't do Savage X. Um, I also kind of wish that there was a way to go straight into SAD. Again, uh, from what we were told, there's an easier way to do it. Unfortunately, we didn't. I didn't have a chance to figure it out. Um, I kind of want to see some footage on that to see like what is the easier, uh, easier way to do it. But um, yeah, just the the way that you have to do like five ADs or EDs to get into an sad is just well it's not it's not five well it's, yeah it's, it's five of the circle combo. it's a part of the circle combo it's like four or five of the circle combo yeah. like it, it but it takes a while to get, like you're right it takes a while to get into yeah. right like it's, it's, a, it's not it's a very anymore. long combo yeah yeah like for that 
I'll go for I it. wonder uh, if there will be an option to toggle focus mode with your button input compared to God, I button. hope so, because I hate holding <laughs> that button down. Yeah, because yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I could pop see in that. there and then pop back out whenever you want yeah. to. That would be nice. That would be really, really that. nice. Yeah. Maybe if that's make probably it feel less control like option. you're, oh, I got to go to focus mode as yeah. much as like switching to focus mode or something. I was literally holding down focus mode 100% of the time while playing Lance. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> because like I couldn't aim at the monster any other way. Like, because with Lance, if you poke without the focus mode, it's going straight and that's it. And the monster's moving around so much. I'm like, okay, let's just use focus mode so I can do this now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know? And uh, it, it definitely felt made it like feel better. And like every weapon can do that, right? Like, you may yep. aim every attack with focus mode. Every single attack can be aimed, um, and it just makes it. I don't know. Makes it makes it feel good. Quick yeah. question. Speaking of like uh -huh. new weapons that they might possibly add in, has there been like a mace before? No. The closest thing to a mace hammer. would be just like sword and shoulder hammer. Because like uh, because yeah. there are like blunt sword and shield weapons or like weapons that look like they're blunt, but like the, but they're, they're still exactly it's still sword and shield slashing. Yeah, it's still yeah. slashing. Oh god. And with the blunt weapons, you still have to sharpen them anyway. So right. <laughs> sharpen that hammer. Sharpen that I hammer. Sharpen baby. my guitar. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, hunting guitar brought to you by Fender. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 Uh, that's the buck getting that no, up, by the did. way. They did have um, in an interview from TGS, they talked about adding a 15th weapon, right? They like they've talked about the logistics behind it and uh, if they've thought about it and why they haven't. Um, and it really came down to just like resources, right? Because mm -hmm. yeah. um, like if you think about it, look at all of the weapon models that we have. Yep. Look at all the weapons that we have. Look at all. Look at how the weapons that we current ha currently have are evolving each game. Look at how much more that they can do and look at their identity that's associated with all of those. Add a, f uh, add a 15th thing onto that, you just added six more people to the team to just focus on that one weapon, right? Yep. Like you now have someone who has to design that weapon. You now need to make design uh, unique designs for all of the um, like monster upgrades, all of the the like craftable upgrades, everything. Balancing. You have to make. You have to balance it out. Yep. Like you have to make a a like a combo system for it, or yep. like an attack system for it. It has to be unique from other things, right? Because I I think the biggest reason that Tonfa just hasn't come back is one, they don't want to add another like superior aerial weapon <laughs> that is much like uh, Insect Glaive, and two, it plays a lot like Dual Blades. So there's no reason really to like add it back in. It's going to overshadow two weapons that exist, and that was one of their points is that they don't want to overshadow things that are currently in the game they would much rather put the resources into expanding on what exists and making them feel fresh and new rather than adding something else that might eclipse right. other things in the game especially but like especially when you think about like the amount of resources that it actually takes to add a 15th weapon like think about that that's a lot that you have yeah. to add into yeah. the game now like Absolutely. that just that that actually made a significant impact on your development schedule but it was really cool to see like in the in the interview they did say that like yeah this is something that we talk about constantly we would love it. to add an, yeah. like we would love to add another weapon we've got concepts for days about new <laughs> weapons but here are the obstacles that we have to overcome to be able to do that yeah i, I think put so much re oh sorry go ahead after you after you well i was gonna say they put so much resources into <laughs> a massive oh my god than any other game we've ever experienced yeah. before yeah. so like that's where it's all getting dumped into if they did another weapon it'd probably be at a point where they've like all right this is an awesome maybe wilds is their new starting point awesome foundation. that's the baseline yeah yeah and now let's explore out and see what different yeah. weird stuff we can experiment with yeah which, are, which would be really cool though like it's it's definitely a great like it's a great way to introduce uh older older generation hunters as well as like newer players as well right and like i think wilds is starting to set that up for us is like we're starting to see a new generation of hunters come into the game mm -hmm. um and enjoy it for the first time just like the sixers <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, wild boys <laughs> oh. oh they wild in oh. oh my gosh drink oh that's that's two that's two shots right oh, there too <laughs> um like yeah it. no i i i do like to see that like and i've seen this a lot too um in my streams i've seen it in other people's streams uh that like we're starting to see more and more people play into worlds 
getting hyped for wilds which to me is really cool to see um because um my like one the monster Hunter community amazing community it's like one of the one of the best communities i've ever been in uh it's the best one out there <laughs> yeah it is like, period done um like the the amount of content creators that we have that are um always around to help everybody out nightside with your videos um bagel with your speed running tactics uh fuzzles with your musical talents and open lobbies um and me <laughs> and me too and John, John, John Mark. me too yeah, yeah, yeah. what's going johnny we got Ooh. this you're still getting carried <laughs> <We> <laughs> no, <exist>. <laughs> <laughs> that guy sucks <laughs> um but yeah and like just seeing seeing these new hunters kind of come in and be like oh like you know i'm playing world for the first time like what do you um i always love seeing this question like what do you um what do you suggest for me picking a weapon for for playing worlds for the first time and it's always the same thing it's like whatever you're comfortable Push with X. try oh okay <laughs> <laughs> i honestly thought you were to say sns because you know sns is totally balanced and fair um it's too hard to use yeah <laughs> sorry back hop and pr mm. Mm. Too much. You back hop in PR when you don't know the monsters' <laughs> patterns, and you tell me how well that goes for you. Yeah, it didn't Not go well. so well for me with Alatrion and uh, Fatalis. Yeah. I, I, hated, I hated life so much. Oh my gosh! <laughs> but, um, but yeah, I think I think with that like in mind, uh, and Capcom kind of sees that too. It's like it's it's trying to blend in a lot of um, components of like what can we make, wh what can we do with this game to. Uh, make it beginner friendly but mm -hmm. also something for other hunters to to get more involved in i mean i wouldn't you know? even call it beginner friendly right um because like the game like even world it was beginner friendly like it, it's not right like it throws a ton of tutorials at you it doesn't explain things really really that well so like, it really takes a community to help like really teach people how to play yeah. this game yeah the way that i like describe it uh is not beginner friendly just accessible, accessible. Yep. yeah accessible. right like yep. like we are we're turning a game that is historically a 200 hour experience into one that is 60 hours right um and i'm all for that because it gets more people playing as long as there's a robust post game for the people like us who have a mental illness and they are <laughs> severely addicted to this <laughs> video shit. game um He's as long as there is a robust uh post game we'll keep playing it but I personally think not every person who's going to play Monster Hunter needs to do um, the Guiding Lands. Oh, yeah. I don't think every single one needs to do Fatalis. I don't think every single one needs to go and fight Lunastra. I don't think everyone needs to go and fight a Devil Joe. Mm -hmm. I don't think everyone needs to do these things because like in the same vein, like I'll play The Witcher. I'm not playing the Blood mm -hmm. and Wine DLC. I'm good. Like I don't need to do that. I don't need that experience. Um, I thought I'll you said play... you were going to do the Leshen quest, and I was like, I was going to be like, Fair. I literally <laughs> did the Leshen quest. I, I apparently I did Ancient Leshen for the first time like two weeks ago. Yeah, I yeah, had I no idea. That. I just never yeah. done that. <laughs> I saw. But, that. Like, I like... we did it. We did an open lobby. Yeah. We're like, oh, like someone's like, oh, go hunt Ancient Leshen. I'm like, all right, yeah, sure, let's do it. And we go and hunt it. I'm like. I can't skip this. Have I never done this before? <laughs> <laughs> We're still going through the tutorial. Yeah. yeah, I was, yeah I, I, and there we go. Well, you don't finish the tutorial in World until you get MR999. So oh, obviously. Knows that. Everybody, Everybody, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone knows that. <laughs> but it, I, I don't know. Like, the... And like this is like the whole, like... We had this conversation earlier. Is Monster Hunter becoming easier? No, you're, cons you're conflating... Uh, ease of access and like actually having a decent playable game with being easier right yeah because if it makes more people play it because the base game experience is shorter by all means oh my god just uh, just do that like, that's fine yep i did a 60 hour game is plenty yeah. right like i had people complaining about rise and saying how they didn't enjoy rise nearly as much and stuff like that and i was like okay well how many hours do you have in the game they're like 300 okay no, yeah you like, clearly didn't enjoy it, it. Like, how many other video how... games do you have 300 hours in like yeah. like what are you on about how did you it's... not enjoy that <laughs> i think like i have 600 hours in in rise and 300 of that is just speed running right yeah so yeah. like i've got my use out of that game i've gotten my i've gotten my fill you know like i'm 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 good 
I need a I need feel. to send you guys the video. <laughs> I need to send you guys this video that I just saw last night on TikTok about like world reviews and how like they have like thousands of hours in the game and it's like some of the funniest reviews out ever being like I just finished this tutorial and it's like 2000 2000 hours in already. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So, see, I hate that. <laughs> uh because like this is my thing, right? Is that like I can only have one hyperfixation at a time. It's right? True. It's, it's Monster true. Hunter World, okay? Yep. <laughs> it has been for the past five years. I don't need every video game to be like that, right? Yeah. I don't right. want every video game to be hundreds of hours of gameplay. I would like that uh, ability. Like, I'm playing through Warhammer 40k, you know? Mm. And, like, when I beat that game, when I beat, like, the, the campaign of that game, I probably won't keep jumping back into it and, like, doing the co-op uh missions and stuff like that to unlock more of the classes and the armor and the equipment yeah. so that but they have an expansive system that lets you keep playing that game um something that buck can relate to hell divers hell divers a lot being a live service game they come out with new content all the time right that's how people they kept people playing monster hunter in the same vein um hell divers was doing the same thing where they're coming out with a new um what is it called war bond and that gives a new thing for people to work towards to 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 keep playing and it plays like a roguelike i've been telling people all this time mm. monster hunter is a roguelike mm. like all the way through you're doing the same fights you're doing the same things in the same places you're just changing your equipment and changing your skill level yep. and sometimes you make it a little bit harder this is a roguelike you're playing hades 3 but that's you know? what's fun is you get to dive in and and enjoy as much exactly uh you know if you want depth that you want to by just exactly your weapon trying new monsters i'm gonna learn this monster better i'm gonna do this at a different di difficulty i'm yep. gonna do this exactly yeah, that's, this that's my cost. point that's it you interact how you want to yep and, but you don't need to, right? Because ding, ding. yeah, <laughs> because all that stuff is after the game, though, right? It's like I yeah, don't want right, to be like right. I had to sink 200 hours into this game to enjoy it. I had to sink over 100 hours into Generations to finish it. Had to, because mm -hmm. like that's just how that game was designed. Yep. yep For yep. Ultimate was designed the exact same way. I don't think I beat that game until I was about 250 hours into it. True. You know? Wow. Like that was a was a was a a long video game yeah yeah not every game needs to be made like no, that absolutely right you not. don't need to be doing that if god of war took you 200 hours to play you would not play god of war. absolutely and not. that's what monster hunter is trying to get to it's gonna appeal to the masses if it's shorter if it's more accessible if the gameplay feels a lot more like phil said earlier seamless we're gonna have a better gaming experience for everyone which yep. means this franchise makes more money and we get more things to do in the post game because that's the part that matters i don't care about being in low rank for 86 hours like, I don't, god, god forbid you spend two thousand hours fighting against the dash Goomer, right <laughs> like i I'm, I'm good i don't need to do that like we're good guys i want to fight you know mm -hmm. the whatever world's or wilds fatalis is going to be <laughs> not I, fatalis well, smile not fatalis <laughs> <laughs> if it's fatalis again i'm i'm rioting i actually yeah <laughs> same like i i think it needs to be something else yeah because fatalis in world was great i think it was perfect we don't need another yeah. one I don't need a I don't, don't need, need a crimson another. fatalis. I don't need a white fatalis. Keep it as it is. Give me something new, or maybe give me a returning monster that hasn't seen the light of day in a long time and reimagine that fight. Make it perfect, you know. Oh, uh, Lao Shan mm. Lung. Mm. That also would be a good one. Yeah, I think Lao Shan Lung. Give me a better Lao fight. In a while. Oh, oh Gen Moran. Gen or Moran. Gen Moran. Yeah. Yeah. But they're gonna be sieges, right? Like, yeah. Yeah. I. I love the rose tinted glasses that I get from people who are trying to sit here and tell me that the Zora Madros is fight is so boring and that Gen Moran is so much better. And then I'll go and I'll look up mm -hmm. Gen Moran gameplay and remind them that the first four minutes of phase two is waiting for Gen Moran mm -hmm. to get to the boat. Oh, uh, it's on the boat. <laughs> like Jump you, on its back. Wee. You keep telling me that, <laughs> that, that's fun. that this fight mm -hmm. is good when the entirety of phase two is him just surfing. <laughs> no, is the phase two part when you stop when you oh when the yeah, phase yeah, one yeah is when he's surfing next to you that part's fun that part's cool but it's the same shit it's just yep pin him down jump on his back hit his back it knocks you off you do it again yep and then Ooh. you go and then you do that enough you get into phase two and it's literally him slowly walking up to your boat until it finally gets to the dragon air and you send that shit <laughs> and it's like zora madras is at least more interesting than that yeah yeah true. yeah <laughs> I think well, that was boring. 
<laughs> Before I forget the thought, I wanted to add to the whole like topic of like difficulty too, and like you know how people were complaining about Monster Hunter Wilds or like new Monster Hunters just being an easier game altogether. I think the thing is is that people also forget that they're confusing difficulty with their are they're 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 looking at these additions as difficulty changes, but they're also forgetting that you played other Monster Hunters. You understand what the game's formula is. You understand the foundation. That experience mm -hmm. carries over from one Monster Hunter game to the next. No matter how different the mechanics are, you have the game sense. You have the game knowledge. You know how to play the game fundamentally. You know the fundamentals. Other mm -hmm. people, and people forget this, but Monster Hunter is very much, I mean, it not so much it's now. It's a small game. But it's a small no, no, game. No, it's still it's still small yeah. compared to like to compared to like World of Warcraft exactly. or Call of Duty yeah. or Halo. Yeah, it's, it's still a small game. It's a small yeah. game with a niche community. The community is still very mm -hmm. small. You know what I mean? So the more accessible you make these games, right? The more players you have to chill with you in your hunts. The more people, you know, and the more people come in, the more likely the game is going to just stay alive. The series will yeah. continue to stay alive. And if it stays alive, we'll see more Monster Hunter games. Otherwise, if you want to gatekeep it, you know, you want to make it so that, oh, I want to stay in zones. I don't want the sacred. I, I just want to hate life. Then, all right, cool. Well, the game's dead. <laughs> yeah, if you all do that, we'll have Wild Hearts again. Yeah, and exactly. Again. Yeah. It'll get dropped instantly. Rest in oh, peace, yeah. Wild Hearts. Oh, I went there. I fucking went there. Yeah. But here's yeah. the other thing too. I'm gonna piggyback on on what what Knight said because I we're uh, in with another group talking about this. Um, someone said like, "Hey, that's a really good way to put this." I'm gonna bring it up here again because I want it here too. Yeah. Um, going from one Monster Hunter game to another Monster Hunter game is like going from one job at a restaurant to another job at a restaurant. The first job taught you how to take orders, talk to customers, use the POS system, make change, right? Mm -hmm. You get to take all of that knowledge that you got from the first job and take it over to the second. You don't have to be taught again. Yep. You just gotta have to learn the nuances of this new restaurant. And in the exact same vein, you're bringing over those skills. You know how to do this already. You know how to hit the monster. You know hitting it makes it weaker. Um, you know what it's about to attack because it vaguely looks similar to other things that you've done before. You've already got that knowledge so like true yeah i'm just i'm just has got that great jagra slam. slam she do though yeah and she's got like a little bit of like a matsu movement <laughs> got a little matsu movement so if you fought a matsu you kind of know what uthduna is already gonna do minus the You're flying in the air uh, <laughs> yeah right what's that uthduna thing uthduning what that uthduna yeah see you saw you doomed Dune? 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 wasn't that oh yes oh um, that yeah was yeah huge that's yeah. the finale that was the annou not announcement and yeah. that says a lot for the way the whole gaming industry is looking at yes. monster hunter yep. as well well that's look crazy. at the success of world right because mm -hmm. yeah. like yeah. and they did so what's really funny is is that world at, at the time had the biggest marketing and media push of a monster hunter game ever Right, it was the first time that a Monster Hunter game got marketed um, outside of Japan as hard as this one did. Yep. Like you had a couple of like, you know, articles written about Generations Ultimate, or really not even Generations Ultimate, because it came out same time as World. Yeah. You had like a, a couple art articles about like for you and like Generations. Like people knew it was coming out. Yeah. And like that was it. You, you had know? some baby commercials World, for Try too. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like little itty bitty ones. And but like the media push that they do for monster hunter games in in japan um and in the in, in those countries like it's insane it's it's huge how much effort they put into those like yeah. uh marketing campaigns and then now they finally were like okay let's like world's been in world's been cooking for a bit this one's got to be a win because like legitimately i don't think I don't think we would have gotten another Monster Hunter game if World wasn't a win. Oh, 100%. Like, I, think, yeah. I think that would have been the last Monster Hunter game that we got, yeah. legitimately. I, I agree. Um, yeah. Giant open world Resident Evil left. Yeah, no, we, yeah. We, we, we literally would have gotten a giant open world at Resident Evil, actually. <laughs> like, like, legitimately. Uh, which, 
I wouldn't be able to play. <laughs> yeah. Uh, speaking of like marketing, yeah, I didn't hear much about like Monster Hunter throughout the states and their push out here. But like when I went to Japan recently this past year, there was so much Monster Hunter stuff out there, and I'm yep. like, yeah. I didn't realize how much of a big game this was. Oh, dude, it, it's so, quite literally a cultural thing. Yeah. You know, to the point and where like big, some, it's a really big reason too why handhelds are so big in Japan, mm -hmm. why the PSP and the 3DS were so widely like successful in Japan. Right. No, but the fact that they're going this hard with the marketing campaign for Wilds, like they're full sending it. They saw the success of World. Mm -hmm. They saw what it did for Rise, even though Rise generally has like a negative perception in the community. Rise is still successful. Oh yeah. Like you can't look yeah, at Rise and go, rich. oh, four million co copies. Like that's bullshit. Like this game sucks. Yeah. Like you're an idiot. <laughs> it's 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 great. It sold it sold that's millions of copies. Million. Yeah. It's, it's it's successful. Yep. Don't that's worry. More than, that's more than Concord. It, that's more <laughs> than Concord. Holy. Ooh, and that's that's there. before the refunds too, guys. No, it's never. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, and so now the fact that they're going like this hard with Wilds really shows that they think Monster Hunter can be Capcom's AAA. Yep. Oh yeah. Like they right. know that 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 Monster Hunter is gonna be a household name after Wilds. Like that's that's their goal. They want people to be like coming home, you know, like sitting down and they're playing Monster Hunter because everyone's doing it, and that's like gonna be the next Call of Duty. Like kids from high school are gonna be coming home and being like. Screw Call of Duty. Screw Halo. We're gonna play. We're gonna play Monster Hunter. That's gonna be this generation's Halo. Interesting and Call that of you, Duty. Interesting that you brought that up. A couple of video hype Wilds videos out there. They're just saying that like this is Capcom's Elden Ring. So mm -hmm. kind of yeah. just interesting oh, yeah. to seeing like how well, much. Oh god. World is Capcom's Elden Ring. Mm. Like that's, that's how true, I yeah. look at it world is capcom's elden ring a game that you knew was already successful that got mm -hmm. wildly successful out of really good effort and just like changing some gameplay elements right mm. this is going to be something else this is, this is going to be a brand new like example of like how a video game can be successful all right that's at least how I look at it, because like <laughs> Elden Ring is outperforming Dark Souls 3, is outperforming Dark Souls 2, is outperforming Dark Souls, is outperforming Bloodborne. And these were all very successful games. And mm -hmm, Monster mm -hmm. Hunter has always been a very successful game, yep. but like not, you know, Call of Duty successful, not Pokemon successful, yeah. not mm -hmm. um, these like gigantic, you know, 20 year running franchise successful. Now it is. And like Elden Ring did the mm -hmm. exact same thing, right? Like Elden Ring brought souls like games to more people yep it brought it to a wider audience like it got me to play it i've never played a souls like game before elden ring and so like yeah dude you got me right. i'm in i'm you know i i'm but i'm not going back and playing other elden or uh, other souls like games i'm playing monster hunter <laughs> <laughs> go back to speed running i'm i'm actually pretty convinced that like wilds is going to be that big jump right into the mainstream yes. because like i mean oh, yeah. it's oh, yeah. it started creeping into the market into the mainstream like you know audiences with world and we saw a little bit more growth with rise sunbreak but wilds is such a huge push right now just yeah, going off of what you were saying earlier um it's insane seeing all of that now like there's been a lot more um like you're hearing a lot more about monster hunter wilds than anything else like than before in monster hunter series right mm -hmm um like a lot of people i have a lot of friends coming to me and they're like oh like there's this uh, new game coming out like monster hunter wilds and i'm like brother let me tell you <laughs> let me tell you a story yeah let me tell the you last story, five but... years of my life yeah, yeah. <laughs> but like it, and it's great to see that because i think the series definitely needed something to really give it that last oomph to to make it uh to give it a platform to stand on yeah, to yeah. become more um uh what's the word i'm looking for like give accessible? it more limelight yeah accessible and more limelight for people to be like that's a game i want to play and especially attention? uh yeah what Atten yeah, yeah like, oh, like, like give attention it more attention more, yeah. and like exposure exposure yeah. is, is that the exposure. word you're looking for yeah exposure, exposure yeah listen i'm old no Sorry. no no we're here no we're no no no, 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 no. To... it's a collaborative no, effort no, 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 no. you are old though i, I like how you didn't <laughs> 
Yeah, you didn't say no to the old part. You were saying no to the helping part. <laughs> the great part too is Monster Hunter in general, just on the, the foundation of what the game is. You're a hunter, you go out and you fight tons of different monsters. That's so attractive to so many people who want to find a game. Oh yeah. Like here, here weapon and look like, like a badass while doing armor. it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And when I first got into Monster Hunter, it was via. I lived in a place with like basically no internet. I Game Informer saw this announcement for Monster Hunter. I'm like, that looks pretty dope. Okay, I know it's coming out. Got it. And then played it offline for hundreds of hours, like taking way too much time in low ranking hiring. But it was so fun because that's the foundation of it. You can go as hard as you want, but the foundation is. You're just going out and finding these cool <laughs> monsters in these cool environments and fighting. That has so much longevity to it. Yeah, Nobody's I think, ever going to want to be like, yeah, I don't want to do something like that. But that's I think literally to, the formula. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think to add on also like while it's being able to have like cross platform and just have like a lot oh, more people yes. joining in. That's Absolutely. where I'm like super excited. So it's <laughs> I, I, I can't believe we, we waited uh, so, until now to actually touch base on No, this. yeah. So, <laughs> I so have it in my notes. <laughs> let's let's talk about that, right? So now with yeah. Wilds, we did it. We have cross play. Plus sixteen Not player lobbies. And you, did it, Reddit. You, you did you. it, Reddit. You did it, Reddit. Good job, Reddit. You did, you did one thing God, right. Thing Reddit, Reddit was one right about. good thing. Reddit got the dub. Thing. It was complaining loud enough about no crossplay. Why you couldn't do that with cross save too? Who fucking knows? Yeah. you know what? We'll take cross play. We'll, we'll, yeah. we'll take the wins where they're at. But yeah. So that's another thing too that I was talking about um, with a couple other people is that like with crossplay, like now we're not limited to only playing with our PC friends. Now like people that have consoles can play with us as well, which is really huge um and I, man i it's been this long five years of world plus god knows how many more with with the rest of the series and we finally have crossplay yep everyone's losing their shit i love it i'm here for it i want i i want to eat it all up already like one is here now now <laughs> like anyone streaming open lobbies oh yes times do we hear it yeah are you on xbox yeah. you are you on xbox your, <laughs> it doesn't have to go into your title it doesn't have to go into your id command you don't have to Boom. keep telling people it's mm -hmm. just exhibition id anyone can join Boom. console whatever it doesn't Let's matter yep. mm -hmm. the only thing that this is going to impact is modding on pc yes absolutely mm -hmm. this is the only thing that's going to impact and that is a very large part of monster hunter pc community so i totally get that i don't mod at all so i really do not care about this but it does bring into the question of the like modability of the game yeah. right because that that adds more time for us like i like the randomizer for world i think that's a lot of fun we mm. like to find different ways to play the game we like modding quests we're you know doing the cgs tournament in, in rise mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. we have the ability to create quests there and so like without those tools uh, i'm i'm curious what those tools are going to look like with crossplay and how that's going to get handled or if that ability even exists yeah. that's about the only downside but like legitimately for me i'm happy to take that hit oh it absolutely means that everyone can like can play, play with each other like, yeah, yeah. Just, just the they're giving me oh i'm just saying like they're giving me the ability to put my male hunter in a banana hammock so like why not yeah, I, I don't need to mod that in anymore. Yeah, you don't like, need to mod. You, you did it. Mod the game. We did it. It's a it's a huge it's it. a huge W right there. We did. We're good. I'll win. Biggest downside <laughs> to no mods is not watching Famu swing around a bag. <laughs> oh, yeah. They're just gonna put that in the game. Oh, true, 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 true. Yeah, get, it's the new joke weapon. Long sword. Oh yeah, we're gonna get Baguette, Longsword, and Croissant <laughs> Hammer, and we won't have to. So we will not have to mod the game because it will be in there. Yep, yep. True. Like quite True. honestly, just to kind of drive home for anyone that might be like newer to the Monster Hunter series, we have been waiting for a crossplay for so long that I, I'm pretty sure a lot of us, you know, like I, I, I could, I, I would be fine without, let's say, for example, without like focus mode, without the new attacks and stuff like that just getting cross play is already so outrageously huge it's like even if i yeah. didn't get wilds and they put it into world all right cool uh, yeah, time that, to, sink, to, time to oh. sink another three years into yeah. freaking monster hunter world 
you know? They could have literally just re-released World, like re-released mm -hmm. World and just been like, okay guys, it's six years later, we, you now have crossplay, mm -hmm. and everyone would have been like, rejoice, this is the second yeah. coming of Christ, <laughs> like, we're good. It's their ace in the hole. It's the thing in the back pocket that they had where like, look, if other aspects of Wilds do not go well, we have we crossplay. We have crossplay. Yeah. So you can suffer together <laughs> across yeah. different consoles. Dog shit. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> it could be the worst video game ever made, but we gave them crossplay, so they can't argue with us. Huh? We gave Reddit everything they want. Um, <laughs> I have one. I, I think we had. Oh, actually, we're gonna say something. Yeah. No. Well, I was actually gonna do the thing that you're gonna do, but you could do it now because it's it's your roundtable. So. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say we have two. Two topics left that I kind of wanted to touch base on. Uh, I think the first one I wanted to touch base on was actually how do we, and this is probably going to be more so for, for Bagel to, you know, just to give us a little bit of your insight, um, but how speed runs <laughs> might potentially get changed or how they uh, might evolve in wilds. Fuck. So I, I, I think in, it's appropriate for you to take regard, the spotlight for this. Just in, just in, in general. In which regard, in the, in, the, in the more popular IL setting, which is more related towards CGS or in RTA setting and how I approach the video game? Let's, let's hear from both, starting with RTA. Okay. So starting with RTA, this is going to be the funnest speedrun <laughs> game in my opinion, <laughs> only because um, the reason why I enjoy World so much is that it has those story elements that you have to interact with, and those are the points of the game that try to slow you down, right? Yeah. And so it's impressive in a full game speedrun that when the game forcibly tries to slow you down, that you actually go as fast as you do. Yeah. So with those elements removed, and then in a speedrun like Rise, it be, rise became a boss rush and those elements were completely gone and it wasn't nearly as exciting um and it's it's nice in those longer runs too to have like up and down and up and down of like i had to really pay attention to here i can kind of chill for a second i'm shitting my pants all right we're fine you know like it's 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 fun to have those elements and the story elements that they're gonna put into uh into into wilds we always saw it in the single player experience right yeah. which we didn't get to stream that but we've seen parts of it in some of the showcases um the story elements are there and they're they're fun they're cool you have to interact with them and it's going to be interesting how we approach that from a full game speedrunning aspect and plus we have so many new tools like the sacred pouch um slinger being able to you, you have your slinger to be able to grab resources Alma, really re, far re, away restocking us too lure pods yeah really the restocks mid quests um being able to hunt a monster and that partial damage carrying over into the next assignment like that's huge it's massive mm -hmm. like that changes how i think like now i'm like okay maybe i do want turf wars because it's going to damage the other monster too mm -hmm. right like yeah. and then i have to go and hunt that monster next anyways like maybe that so like i'm thinking about this game in a very unique way which as a full game speedrunner that's a lot of fun yeah um now the il side now the individual level that's the, the for those of you that don't know in, individual level is what we call the like single monster hunt so like you know um eater of worlds nergigante speed run in three minutes and 12 seconds whatever um like those videos that you see those are individual levels and that's kind of what the cgs tournament is built on is il arena quests and that's what you mostly see people speed running because it's a low time commitment for a really cool showcase um it's gonna be rough yeah for all the reasons that rta is gonna be really cool it makes verifying individual levels very very difficult um just more background on like why i'm thinking about this i do for those of you that don't know i do moderate the speedrun.com monster hunter genre like the whole game series like i'm i'm the dude i run that shit he's and the guy so, he's the guy uh, he's the guy oh, so when you go onto literally any of the leaderboards my name is on every single one of them from Hello. monster hunter explorer to monster hunter stories to to monster hunter wilds when i set up the game category um and so now we're thinking about this like how do we standardize this right because like you, you know it's pretty standardized as it is i i load up the quest I, I pick the quest, that's the name of the quest, that's the quest that I'm speedrunning, and I can compare that to other people also speedrunning that quest, asterisk, you know, um, and in the same vein, like they say that we're gonna have that same access here in wilds, but if you can damage the monster beforehand, when does that reset? Yeah. yeah. If you can manipulate the weather settings and the time settings, to what extent can we do that? And does that have to be, um, moderated in some way shape or form yeah 
um, what are the elements of the game that are going to get included that are going to bottleneck our ability to actually verify and the seamlessness of the game is a big one um, and to go back to our uh, counterpart from EA Wild Hearts yeah. we saw this issue with Wild Hearts the hunt in Wild Hearts did not start until you hit the monster the hunt in Monster Hunter Wilds does not start until you hit the monster so that means in Wild Hearts we were able to build up dam damage modifiers enough to the point that we could one shot the monster and get a quest time of 0000, zero, zero, zero. Hmm. in Wilds we're afraid the exact same thing is going to be able to happen so how do we time it it's gonna be a battle and the unfortunate thing is like i would love to like say here's how we're gonna do it but we have to wait we have to let the game come out yeah um and for example when iceborne came out we had a uh two or three week um embargo on submissions the leaderboard was up the rules were posted stuff like that but we had an embargo on submissions because we needed to play the game and make the rules ourselves I'm looking at wilds and I'm like, this might need to be like two months. Yeah, yeah we, might, I would agree. we might really need to like sit down and cook with this and give it some time. People are going to do runs. They're going to make up their own <laughs> rules. I'm, I love that stuff, right? Uh, because it, it informs me on like what people are interested in. Like yeah, the, what works, we, what had, doesn't. Yeah, what works, what doesn't, what special rule set like TA wiki rules or um, speedrun.com's version called simple rules. You know, we've had a lot of uh, different ways that we've gone about like rule sets and how to make them and stuff. And so, um, that gives us time to like figure that out too. But I, the biggest thing is, is like, if, if you, if you do have the like desire to speed run the game, speed run it before a leaderboard is there, you get to have input on how that gets done. Yep. You know, and that leaderboard can't be made until we have examples. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I can't make a leaderboard until you guys do it, you know? And, uh, like I say that over and over and over and over and over again, if you want to make a new category, if you want to help with a category, if you want to help establish the initial rules, you have to participate. You have to do it before it exists. Yep. Mm -hmm. Hey, I if you could. Oh. oh, no, you go ahead. Oh, I was going to say, um, hey, heads up. I'm going to make a pet the dog percent. So uh, I'm going to submit it. that. So it Please, yeah. Let's go. go yeah, pet, <sighs> pet the dog percent, pet the sacred percent. We had, I, I literally <laughs> joked about um, and the frog. a hog and a frog, which is <laughs> unlocking the hog and a frog costume for Poogie as fast as possible in Monster Hunter World. Ooh, became a thing. That, that <laughs> became a thing because like I, I mentioned it on stream. I was like joking about it and someone's like, you should do it. I was like, all right, cool. Like I'll, I'll do it. It was like 24 minutes or something like that. It's now like more popular than the <laughs> game. There's more runners for that than there were for like uh, like Zora, uh, Zora 1 for a while. But it, it was just funny because it was just like, I did it once and then everyone else is like, oh, this is kind of funny. And so then everyone else did it too. And like, there was a resurgence of it a couple months ago. Like it, it, it like even that stuff, like it's jokey stuff. It's like um, nipple percent in Mario, you know, Mario Odyssey. People joked about it. And then someone was like, yeah, no, like what's the fastest that we could get Mario's shirt off? But <laughs> yeah, nipple percent. I know that. <laughs> I was thinking with your, with, with what you were talking about, Jal, with how you can bas basically you need to find a beginning how can we mm -hmm. have a level <clears throat> i wonder if there's going to be there's going to be somewhat dedicated camp locations if you could be yeah there, yeah and then you have to in order to verify you have to rest which should i don't know how long to like reset damage if you could before exactly. and then you have to start from that point as soon as you like leave the yeah team, something like that and and the biggest thing uh, with like speed running and verifications is we don't we're trying to make it as easy as possible for people. Mm -hmm. So like with Sunbreak, this was really, really evident because of modded charms and mm -hmm. uh, and because of like other moddable elements in the game that some people like and some people don't like. I'm all for reducing the number of resets. So if you're just resetting for like a monster to be a specific specific position, a specific size and a specific HP, just mod that shit in. I like it doesn't matter to me, guys. I will, I'm all for modding um, in the community. So, you know, heads up. Within reason. Within reason. Within yeah. reason, right? <laughs> you know, like say, like the, like reason. like the, the 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 reasons you would reset a run before even interacting set, with the monster. Set spawn locations, set Yeah. 
Yeah, kind of like now, how world size well, because like world has that right because world when you first start yeah. hunting the monster, it's a set HP, it's a set size. Well, for like, RTA, yeah, well, for, for RTA, for sorry, time. yeah, for 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 RTA. But for ILs, like I mean, the same Mold. tools are are used, you know, instead yeah. in 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 world and Iceborne and Rise and Sunbreak, like we use those same tools across. My my whole point is though is that we're always gonna find the best way and the easiest way for people to speed run. Mm -hmm. And so my thing is, is that if like resets are tedious, it's going to suck for speed running. That's it. Hi, Mia. That's... Bye, Mia. <laughs> <laughs> hi, Mia. Can you tell her you say hi? Can you tell her all uh, of Twitch says hi? All of Twitch <laughs> says hi, Mia. Sorry. Yeah, it's wide angle day today. So you're, you're anytime you walk in the hallway, you're going to be on camera. Yep, nope. There she is. Hey. <laughs> That's where uh, the bedroom is. Just waiting. So, she's yeah. gonna like jump, do a yeah, floor aerial jump from like, one <laughs> side to the other. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't uh, know. All, my thing is too. If you guys want to speed run, reach out. Start with a run. It doesn't have to be the best run. It doesn't have to be the fastest run. Uh, race against yourself. Don't race against the people that have been doing this for six years. <laughs> uh, like it's a, it's literally a, a, a recipe for a disaster. Um, and my DMs are always open, and you can always find me on, in my channels and and ask questions and figure out what's the best way to like start doing this stuff. Yeah, yeah I was gonna... his last job bagel. Yeah, I was actually kind of interested in trying out speed running when I get Should. comfortable. Oh, with dude, the game, absolutely. So it looks really oh, yeah. interesting. Speedrunning is awesome. Speedrunning is a great way to like challenge yourself, right? It's another way to add another level of gameplay onto <laughs> what you're already doing, you know? Mm -hmm. Improve your gameplay. You'll helping out. Well, you'll also be helping out with the speedrunning community, right? Because you'll probably think of something that like Bagel and I'm going to assume Green might end up speedrunning. I don't know. I mean, yeah, maybe. Yeah. He didn't speedrun Rise. Well, he didn't like that game. He didn't maybe like he'll it. hate Wilds too. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, like definitely, because uh, I used to speed run with with Bagel and Green a long time ago, and like um, there were some things that like I found out that um, they're they're using now. Like, uh, well, I rediscovered Admiral Skip in in RTA, which is really funny. Ellie said she did it, could never reproduce it, and then you did it, and I was like, well, Ellie said it like Ellie said this years ago too, and you're like, no, but I have like a video of it. I was like, oh. Yeah, great. Because no, it was during it my exists. speed run. Yeah. So, so yeah, like, and and people are like, like Bagel said, like people are more than welcome to join on in, like join the speed running community, and also come up with ideas and stuff like that. And because like Bagel's not, like, I love Bagel, but he's not gonna want to do that all by himself. It's gonna right. drive him crazy. Yeah. I'm yeah. literally the only person that's committed to doing it right now. Which yeah. Is, it sucks. <laughs> what a guy. <laughs> I've been so. I've been legitimately <laughs> asking people like hey do you want to help with wilds when it comes out and they're like no nah, i'm good and i'm like baby okay. i got okay. you yeah i'll come oh, back yeah. to speed running for you you don't have to be a speedrunner to help with the leaderboards oh, we have dude. plenty of people that aren't speedrunners that help with the leaderboards all the time they're just people that are committed and happy Boom. and want to uh damn it you know <laughs> yeah, yeah. you do have to be happy you have to be happy in this game no they're happy to like just just like uh provide it. something yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah like not not like participate in it yeah. but uh just, just <laughs> yeah, you don't have to be happy you can be miserable <laughs> just like me <laughs> just to add to that life. too like i it, you guys remember the iceborne demo right when it first came out oh, with yeah. like tigrex yeah. so fun yeah. fact about me is that i actually held the at least the youtube record for longsword for that demo for like a solid month beating out Had a leaderboard for it you could have submitted to it i could still can it's still open <laughs> you can still do it <laughs> well, well the, the thing is is that i i beat it like i beating out you know some of like the top freaking like speedrunners for a long sword for like a solid month right but i demonstrated like you know despite my low ass like skill level being able to show off things like ei spirit you know spirit rounds or sorry the ei spirit slash being like good you know what i mean yeah so people started utilizing Usable. that yeah, and then people built on top of that. So it's like, you know, you really just, you know, no matter what your skill level is, you are contributing to it. Yes. You know what I mean? So uh, if, yeah. even if you don't think that you're like amazing at the game, it's still something fun to do. Like like Bagel said, it's it's another yeah. aspect of gameplay that you can enjoy. It's a new experience that yeah. you can layer on top of that. And if anything, it's like you you don't even have to like think about it in a way that you're competing with other people. You can think about it just as a way that you're improving Compete yourself. Yourself. As a player. Yeah, exactly. You compete against yourself for a personal best time and that's it. You know, you, yeah. you just enjoy it. There are plenty of games that I know how to speed run that I am not 
even remotely in like the top 10%. I'm not time. even the top 50%. I'm not even the top 80%, you know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Hat in Time, Tie the Tasmanian Tiger. Uh, I know Slime Rancher, you know? Like Celeste. these are all games that I learned. I do not know the Celeste Speedrun. Oh, I thought you did. Speed oh, sorry. Mm. Rowdy. What a good that's, game. My bad. That's entirely different. I could. I'm not that good at video games. <laughs> that's okay. You're good at Monster Hunter, and that's all we need you for. Yeah. <laughs> that's the only thing you're good for. That's it. That's all it is. I hit Monster good. Yeah, he did. He do big damage and make Monster dead. He hit Monster good. He hit Monster question, fast. Yeah, I make people question whether or not SNS is good, and I love that. <laughs> <laughs> the number one comment I get on like the videos is, "Is SNS really that good?" And I'm like. Yeah. Look at uh, the numbers. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Don't listen to bagels. <laughs> it, it's purely. What do they mean? It, it's clearly a support weapon, only good for behemoth yeah, small. Oh, yeah. Clearly a support beginner weapon, actually not designed for anyone to use ever. You're supposed to switch off of SNS as fast as possible yeah. once you figure out how to press the buttons to do that. That's the whole reason why they give you the option to swap off when you start world. Yeah. Just you know. Don't yeah, yeah, it. yeah, yeah. Absolutely. All right. One last topic uh, for the. Oh, go ahead, Johnny. No, no, I was going to say, do you want a last topic? Yeah, yeah, I was going to say the last topic for the round Johnny, table. can you let him run the, the, the Yeah, can you the let podcast, me do my please? job, man? Like, oh my yeah. God. Come on. Uh, please. Stop, no. backseat pot, stop backseat hosting. Are you backseating my host? You know, oh my yes. you're doing a great God, job. please. Dude. No, <laughs> <laughs> I'll backseat you harder. Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Explain that. Well, <laughs> elaborate. Oh, well, so, the, so the, the way it is, is that. Like, oh, God, no. Anyways, so, <laughs> what are talking about? Uh, the next topic? My food's almost here. I, but my, once my Pad Thai gets here, I'm leaving. I'm just letting you guys know. Oh, my burger's say, already waiting for me. <laughs> I was going to say, you guys can stay in the call after this. We could just leave. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, yeah. <laughs> All right, here we go. Rings, I'm getting it. Last yeah. topic for the round table. Any expectations, any hopes that you have for Monster in the Wild? Anything ooh, at all? Ooh, me first. Me first. Yes. I think Bagel wants to go first. I, I, I think expect take it off. to be a monster hunter game. Damn. Oh, that, that's it. You're right. You're right. You're right. I've got no. Yo, I've got burger. nothing for this. You can hunt monsters in this game. Holy. <laughs> Dude, Wait, that's all that I want out of this game. Hunter? That is my only expectation. It's my only hope is that it is a monster hunter game because if it's like anything like the the previous ones, it's gonna be a banger. Yeah. That's yeah. It. Yeah. One hundred percent. And that's and that's all. Even if it's a bad RTA speedrun, I'll just go back to speedrunning the world. <laughs> I was going to say, you're just going to go back to the world anyways. I'll just go back to the world. That's a good Yay. speedrun. That one's fun. Yippee. From everything they've showed us already, it's already exceeded my expectations that I had oh, yeah. before knowing anything. It's like, I, I don't know what else to ask for. I don't want to be too greedy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, right? I don't want to yeah. ask too much and then I get disappointed in the and end. <laughs> Like all the people coping for a 15th weapon still like they could still let it at at fisticuffs just bare bare knuckle boxing the monsters. That's all I want at this point. Dude, what I was thinking, you don't do Dude, another just, weapon. All you do yeah. is you got kicks and you punches. Got, and yeah, did you got <laughs> you got these two puppies right here just ready to beat up the monster. And maybe if you want to kick or something, I don't know, whatever you're into. <laughs> what if you're into yeah, bring kicking. back the kick actually? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. I would say mm, an expectation of wilds, um, especially with the with uh, sixteen player lobbies again and everything, some sort of um, like uh, I'm gonna say like a sixteen player siege, like just some yeah. sort of siege fight that we could have. That's like using because from my understanding from that interview is that like everybody's gonna be in that same like base camp area, like the one that's outside or whatever, and yeah. then from there you get to go out and hunt, right? Wouldn't it be so cool, uh, like dragging that into the into an expedition, like a bigger expedition for for a siege, yeah, and having like so many people like wailing on whoever ends up coming M out, go for a big goal. There you go. No, I know. So like, M -M this is why Frontier was so cool because <laughs> we had the MMO, but like, yeah, they still limited to four people. Um, but you like you had so many different other like things with it as well. But like, an actual MMO style Monster Hunter like experience fight yeah 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 that would yeah that's all i want dalamador with 16 people oh man oh my god yes <laughs> i'd be so be... freaking down i was gonna say like that's something that i really liked about destiny and just have like the open world and just have a bunch of random people popping in do public events together so yeah there's Not, a lot yeah. to expand with this community and so much to do that makes me really excited to to play the game 
Yeah, absolutely. Because, like, uh, again, when it comes down to it, it's um, the way I've always seen Monster Hunter is like, yeah, you could do the solo experience of hunting the monster, getting getting weapon, hit monster till dead, make parts out of it. But it's also it's also built around the community aspect of hunting with other people with different weapon styles, different uh, gameplay styles and going against monsters. So, like, yeah. let's expand on that a little bit more. Let's not just limit it to four player hunts let's make it an eight player hunt let's make it a 16 siege hunt like yeah yeah really really especially now because like i know in the past it was all because of the limitations of techno technology that we have which fair i get it i you know it is what it is but i think we're slowly um getting to a point of where um we're not held back with what we have that's available to us in terms of technology like it can absolutely be done in a way where you can have these eight to 16 player hunts um fighting a big ass fucking monster and doing a lot of damage or doing um uh, a siege style kind of hunt right like it can it can be possible um is it going to be resource taxing and and going to take a lot of time to figure it out yeah obviously like as as most things that like we really want they it takes time it takes um testing and things to try to figure it out but I would hope that if not in wilds, maybe a future uh, Monster Hunter uh, entry that we have that available to us, you know? Yeah, agreed. That would be sweet. It'd be super cool. I think one thing that I would like to add to things that I would like to see make a return is like, you know, obviously now we have the 16 player lobbies again. I would love to see um, seasonal lobbies make a return. Mm, they, they were they definitely absolutely. a big big part of like communities and stuff like that being able to like grind yeah. together to get those tickets to make those armors whether it be layered yeah. or actual armor and then dressing up together and interact with the community and stuff like that it was just such a fun aspect that i really yeah. really really hope that they come back um in addition to having like substantial collaboration quests because like i, I don't want to sound ungrateful because i i did enjoy the collaboration quests that we had in rise sunbreak right they were cool they were great but the problem is, is that they were cute. They were cute. Mm -hmm. And that's where it stopped. Whereas with yeah. like World Iceborne, they were meaty oh as gosh. hell. Like the freaking Final Fantasy collaboration with like the giant oh, yeah. freaking Kuliaku to Behemoth and the Extreme Myth. And then Leshen being as just a straight up new monster too. I mean, Behemoth too. And well, like the Leshen fight was like an entire like the one quest was an entire like Witcher style ah. multi quest mm. like didn't you have to use that was and so stuff like unique. that? Huh? Didn't you have to use Igni too? Like yeah, you oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, you have to use Igni. Yeah, like to use Igni and like yeah. free the uh free the Pookie Pookie and then you had to go and fight the Leshen and make sure the Pookie Pookie lives mm. and it gave you a free attack deco mm. and I did that. I redid that like eight times to make sure that little bastard lived. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> yeah. Shoot, even like no, I, I agree with you. E remember the big, Resident big Evil one too? Like that would be awesome. The Resident Evil mm -hmm. one was great oh, too. Even the Resident oh, yeah. Evil one yeah. was good. It was yeah. an existing monster, but they gave you mechanics that like you actually yeah. had to utilize. You know, green and yeah. red herbs, so then mm -hmm. you're not like zombified anymore. I just redid that too, uh, yeah. not that long ago. I was like, dang, was I neat. forgot. Yeah, but that's like, and like that's like, um, that's a really good <laughs> example of like the level of effort that they could add to that stuff. Yeah. I love that Mia's just right. <laughs> yeah. Hello. Hi, Mia. <laughs> <laughs> huh? All right. Very, 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 very last question. Very small. Wait, did we, oh. did we all say our thing yet? I think I missed or someone. I just, just, I was going to do a quick thing. Yeah. Because yeah. the only hope I actually really have is that the <laughs> functionality of crossplay, the functionality of all of us playing together without having crazy disconnects and issues like that, they would be awesome if we have that right on release. Knock on wood. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Oh yeah. Well, actually, I don't care if that's if that's right on release because I'm gonna play solo for. Yeah, a I was while. gonna say. I think a lot of people will play solo, right? Like, well, true, that's where true, I'm gonna be I at. Guess. Yeah. It's just like playing on PC because I started the new PC playthrough. Even it's now. rough. Like, yeah. It's, yeah rough. it's rough. It's rough. And, and that's that's mostly a Steam problem, and like, <laughs> it's like. 50% of Steam problem, like 10% a Capcom problem, and then 40% the internet's cool. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, you <internet>. know. <laughs> but, I, I, yeah, I don't, I don't understand add. why it doesn't like always work, but yeah, no. If it, it as long as that's like, as Figured long as that's out. good, yeah. And like it, it, it like it has to function, right? They can yeah. tell us crossplay mm -hmm. exists. 
it has well, to function yeah, stable yeah. stable connections no disconnect stuff like that yeah, yeah. i think mm. it would be fine if it like is kind of busted in the first week i mean this is like the very sure. first iteration oh, of yeah, it like happen. coming out so there's going to be problems no matter no matter how you look at it but yeah you know, so long true. as they fix it over time and it becomes stable over time i think that'll be fine be like yeah. i think everyone is willing to be gracious and just be patient with capcom because especially this is the first biggest implementation for monster Hunter, period yes we've seen right. it in street fighter right. mm -hmm. great but now it's bringing it over to monster Hunter where the infrastructure is totally different yeah yeah, yeah. right yeah. all right very good point very last very quick question who's upgrading their pc for monster Hunter wilds and uh it who is going to be playing mouse and keyboard versus controller i'm a controller guy so yeah. i'm just gonna use controller yeah same. um yeah i definitely need a pc upgrade for sure Hey man, sounds like you should join TGS because if you win first place, you get a, a <laughs> an i7. Ooh. Well, just there saying. It is, there it is. When's a, de when's a deadline submission for them, Knight? You have until the end of Sunday. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hurry and up. Where can you get, get where it. can you get a partner at? Oh, you should totally join the the Discord for uh for CGS, which I have the invite link. And right. give me like 10 seconds. <laughs> that. That 10 is. seconds? He's not even ready for his own plug? He doesn't even have a command for it. Listen, I recently laugh. made this Discord. Give me some slack. Epic <laughs> point laugh. Uh, um, I'll be I'm doing probably gonna... Oh, you go ahead, yeah. John. No, you go ahead. It's okay. No, I, no, I'm, I'm not talking to you first. Your yeah. name starts with a B. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> it's the second um, letter of the alphabet yeah. <laughs> wait hold on that's too much for me <laughs> um i recently uh did all my pc upgrades back in in march to get it kind of to a good spot which i'm super happy about because i never was part of the pc master race till january nice. um and then just decided nice. to pull the trigger and feel the financial yeah. pain so we're good on pc and i'm gonna I'm gonna do that hell yeah know? And controller. Um, mouse and keyboard's fine for like Hell Divers, Space Marine, that stuff. I love it. Yeah. Like shooters. Freaking yeah. Monster Hunter learning after all of the muscle memory on controller. No way. Yeah. <laughs> You'd be surprised. Yeah. <clears throat> At least um, I haven't tried long enough to know if it's. Yeah, no, that's. Do. <laughs> that's so totally I will fair. say this. Guys, please do not spend uh four thousand dollars on a new computer to play wilds <laughs> when we just saw at tgs how crispy clean this game looks on mm -hmm. a ps5 mm -hmm. yeah. True. Yeah. Yeah. yeah okay True. a ps5 is a biff of that yeah okay it's not, it's not even the pro good. and it's not, no, even, yeah, the pro. It's not even it's the a pro. regular ass ps5 um and something else regular to note too ps5 <laughs> just a regular old um something else to note too is that a lot of the footage that you're seeing is actually not what it looks like like on day of because streaming qualities blow sometimes yup right stinky streaming qualities are not great all the time it might be yeah. so like mm -hmm. if you're gonna build a pc like i'm all for building a pc please do not go out of your like way to build for a five thousand dollar pc just to play wilds when you already have a ps5 just just play it on the ps play it on the ps5 enjoy it there have a good time and then if you feel like you need to upgrade like do that because i like legitimately before the ps5 and stuff like that i'd be telling you to build a computer yeah nowadays i'm like i think i messed up i should just get a ps5 <laughs> I mean, well, on like, top of that you have no reason to specifically do one form of platform because exactly. of cross play yeah. because of cross play yeah. yes. not like well i want to play with all my friends and see on no TV. now you could do it on ps5 you just do, yep. you can just do it anyways um um i only i only pc game because i speed run that's it that's the only reason i do it i pc game you know? so that i don't have to lug my playstation 5 into here <laughs> save save True. more dust space you know get an hdmi splitter and like a hundred feet of cord i remember yeah, that. i ran an, i ran an hdmi cord from my living room to my computer so i could play my computer <laughs> in my living room on the big 78 inch tv yeah. it was huge <laughs> my poor eyeballs <laughs> uh i mean i'm due for a pc upgrade anyways yeah um, i'm gonna upgrade my pc at the end of next year yeah same yeah <laughs> but I, I was gonna do it i was gonna do it this year for yeah. wilds I, I was like I, I i messaged a friend and i was like hey i'm thinking about upgrading my computer at the end of this year like november december area like what do you think and she's like don't do it wait till yeah. next year 
we don't have new CPUs this year. We don't have new GPUs this year. They're all coming out next year. Wait till next year. I was like, but I kind of wanted it for like, why was it come out? And then the minimum Rex came out and I'm like, oh, I'm good. Yep, yeah. yep, 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 yep. We golden. We golden. We golden, dude. And yeah. so like, even if I play it on like medium 60 locked, like this will be fine. I'll be good. I'll yep. play yeah. it like that for a bit. And then I'll upgrade the computer later. Build a big beefy boy. This one's, Fucking, this yeah. one's five years old already. Yeah, I was gonna say, I think I built oh. mine one year after you you did. But like, yeah, something like that. We got we got some oldies coming up. Yeah, I, yeah, mine's like six or seven years old at this point. Woo! Yeah, so yeah, I, I try to upgrade every five. Yeah, yeah, mine's coming up. Like I'm like three or four years old with my rig, but like mine, I'm running like a 3080 Ti plus a Ryzen 9, so I'm. God damn, I'm golden, son. baby. Me I'm too, golden. baby. Hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's yeah, my no. same stuff. Yeah. yeah, so no upgrades for me personally, and then I'll probably be playing controller. But uh, I think <laughs> once I get like a stable job again, I might just upgrade parts for, you know, for the sake of upgrading parts. And also to switch from AMD back to Intel just to, you know, try it again and make I'm a new computer for my Intel. girlfriend. I mean, uh, yeah, Intel's good. I was going to say, I'm, af I'm afraid of Intel, but hey, Intel's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, we don't know what Wilds is going to look like, so it's, it'll be better for, to wait for the game to come out and then decide and how then you want to do like, that. Yeah, but right. there are definitely reasons, especially with Monster Hunter World as an example, to yeah. have an AMD over an Intel. And we do not have to talk about that right now, but nope. I will <laughs> say this too. The way that we are playing video games is that either will work perfectly for fine yes, sir. but if you do what i'm doing then it might matter <laughs> yeah yeah if you're you know. streaming it and playing the game then yeah there's gonna be a bit of struggle for sure <laughs> yeah two pc or, setup baby i mean yeah, yeah i'm two pc setup specifically <laughs> so I have yeah, the fastest yeah. possible load time with world <laughs> Same. i love speed running it's not an illness <laughs> you speed run yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this man speed runs? Oh shit, sure, that's speed another clip right funny. there, man. <laughs> you're gonna tell me he's gonna do fatalis percent. Yeah, who would do that? An idiot. Oh, Only idiots man. would do that. Who would do it three times? Surely not I. Surely not this guy. Surely. Surely, surely not him. Surely. All right. I my pad thai. Yeah, I'm gonna go eat my burger. Yeah, I was gonna say let's <laughs> let's uh let's go close up now. I think we went 30 minutes over the what I was originally planning. <laughs> But yeah. I guess uh, with five people, you guys it... are fun to talk to. I know. Oh, oh yeah, no, I'm not saying that's bad. You. I just feel bad for you guys because I'm taking every guys' time. Two hours. Oh, all okay. right, all right. So, okay, we're not, no, that no. Ooh, <laughs> I don't like you guys that much. <laughs> <laughs> you take that up with Carol. <laughs> But yeah, thank you again to all you guys. I love every single one of you. And I'm so appreciative that you guys spent the time to, uh, you know, take time out of your day and your dinner to, uh, you know, hang out and uh, talk shop about Monster and Wilds. I'm sure everyone in the audience was uh, enjoying the the chat too. Um, go ahead and uh, let's start doing, um, you know, any closing thoughts and just your outro and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll wrap it up. I'm starting with Buck. Uh, closing thoughts and out. Well, thank you, Nightside, for putting this together and asking me to be a part of it. it was, uh, really exciting. I really enjoyed chatting with all of you guys. I'm just hyped for Wilds. There's so many different things. It's like, it's enough hype where it's uncomfortable. You guys know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. It's like <laughs> wake up with everything. Like when you got that digesting wedgie. everything. Yeah. Like it. wanting to talk about everything, know everything wanting oh i should make this i should do yeah, it's like it's so much they're just giving it to us yeah so it's like so exciting and so my goal is to stay excited and not get stressed out about it that's <laughs> the same thing uh, yeah i too have yeah. anxiety yep, yep, yep. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, anxiety on the excited side and uh thanks again everybody for talking this was a blast and i hope to do it again sometime and yeah i'm buck foozle i'm over on twitch and all the different stuff all the handles are the same so uh, much love. He's going to be grinding Monster Hunter World PC right after this, guys. So if you guys are looking to grind Kovtoroth or you want a really cool guy to hang out with, please check him out. I put his chat inside or his link inside the uh, the chat. So please give him a follow. Give all these guys a follow. I'll shout out everyone mm -hmm. as we're going through. Eh. I, wouldn't, I wouldn't do that, but go on. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, it's, your, it's your turn now. Oh. Oh. Go, Johnny. Um yeah uh final thoughts uh yeah i mean um try not to get too excited for wilds because as uh Gaudium pointed it out it is now 100 and 
40 something days for us to wait on it 147 <laughs> let's go um, so now we gotta wait that now we have a like release date which i was so happy to hear about um but yeah just uh i will say this uh for those of you that are going into the game for the first time or the series for the first time take your time with it enjoy it at your speed don't feel like you gotta speed through it all don't be like a jow bagel and speed in the <laughs> game um but yeah definitely definitely take your time with it and if you have friends uh to play with definitely hang out with them or hang out with the other amazing content creators here as well as some that are in chat um that do open lobbies yeah like uh I i'm trying to also figure out where i'm pointing at that uh, all there um i think i'm pointing the wrong way i, I am i don't know <laughs> I, I, I looked like three times and i was like i don't point there the, point out the camera there you go all, everybody um point at them all hang out with every or hang out in open lobby chats whenever you see them we are not gonna be like you can't play with us or you know like this is our can't table yeah exactly um but yeah uh speaking of open lobbies i host open lobbies uh at twitch.tv forward slash dj underscore j zero n n y because twitch can't give me johnny <laughs> for whatever reason still uh um but yeah you can also find me on youtube where i'll be uploading uh shorts and uh hopefully long form content soon tm because i'm trying to work Yippee. on that yeah i know um but yeah uh uh it was a pleasure hanging out with all of these knuckleheads oh and bagel i guess i don't know um <laughs> oh, you love me uh, i i do <laughs> uh but yeah uh jomar you're up next yeah, I'm a little embarrassed to say this uh, since the beginning. I could have just flipped my camera. Oh! Oh, it says Joe Mar? They said Ramo. Ramo. Yeah, as I mentioned at the beginning of the stream, um, I'm fairly new to the community. I've just been getting into it this year. Um, and meeting you guys in person was really dope. Um, and just being able to be a part of this community on Twitch um, has been a lot of fun and just been exploring the game, get hyped up for, for Wilds for uh, next year. And uh, yeah, I also host like open lobbies in my in my uh, streams, twitch.tv slash Jomar. Um, see right there, yeah. Bam. Uh, Ramiage or whatever. Um, but yeah, it's been really fun to, to just play with everybody and hopefully we could to collaborate more soon next year or even sooner definitely we'll see you at cgs <laughs> oh yeah oh, oh yeah what, when's the deadline uh end of sunday you get, throw right, your right. runs in challenge quest number end four of, end of the score for us? oh uh right here i actually finally made a command for that small oh yeah, my god oh, wow. here, here, wait, i can read it out for you it's https colon backslash holy freaking w2 capital y e2 capital q capital u capital d lowercase e capital n that's my bud you can click it in the description below <laughs> that's my bud love him take it away bagel Oh yeah, uh, my name is Joe Bagel. Um, thank you guys uh, for for hanging out tonight. Thank you for having me, and uh, all you other guys. Thank you for tolerating and listening to me. Um, that thing is not lying to you. I was playing Final Fantasy 16 the last time I was streaming, uh, but I generally uh, a Monster Hunter streamer. I know, I know. It's super He's tragic, a phony. right? He's a yeah. phony. Get him. Um, That's basically Monster fun. Hunter. Yeah, no, game's sure, sure, fun. Sure, sure. By the way, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. No, but I, I speedrun Monster Hunter in a way that you probably have never seen it done before, which is a new game all the way to end, end condition, usually Xenojiva, sometimes Shara Ishvalda, and maybe even Fatalis again soon, TM. Ooh. Um, all one sitting. So if you like that stuff, come by, hang out. If you ever have questions about speedrunning, whether it's um full game, individual level, meme categories, whatever Team Lightside is doing right now, feel free to hit me up and ask questions. I love answering questions about speedrunning. I love talking about speedrunning. If you're interested in speedrunning wilds or participating in the SRC, that's speedrun.com moderation community, feel free to hit me up too. Um, I'll be putting out a more public application for that in the future. Um, and then of course, uh, make sure you guys come by CGS because um that is knight's love child that i have adopted tangentially uh as a speedrunner and person who likes to put on events and 
likes to live vicariously for that stuff. So you should absolutely make sure to join us for CGS and legitimately, legitimately, if you have any interest in, in participating, please participate. You will be surprised at your ability mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. at your uh, chances. Yep, yep, so yep. you should absolutely participate because like the grand prize is literally worth thousands of dollars yep, yep, yep. and is you it, should do it is there any issues with like uh co-streaming it like watching it and absolutely not you're more than channel. welcome like yeah, i yeah, i we're have definitely gonna be doing that yeah you guys are more than welcome to co-stream and if you're a streamer content creator and you guys are actively in the tournament you guys are more than welcome to stream your perspective take it from bagel he actually participated yeah. from the last one it was great because it was like a behind the scenes in the tournament while the tournament was going on right see, oh yeah see what the runners are doing yep yep yeah yeah you got to watch us steal everyone's strats for like <laughs> six hours and don't worry about them live on street <laughs> and get to the third round <laughs> uh, Yay. But yeah hit me up i'm not anyone special you can dm me at any time i'm at jal bagel on discord too so you can find me easily there you go I'll, I'll keep mine really short, but you guys know who I am already. I'm also the attorney guy slash CGS guy. And just like how everyone has been promoting it for me on my behalf, please, please, please join the card game series. Even if you don't think that you're amazing at the game, just bring a buddy, join it. You have nothing to lose and everything to gain. And it's just a fun event. You get to hang out with everyone in the Monster Academy. It's big. We have Intel as a sponsor. We have Logitech as a sponsor. Very recently, and I haven't announced this publicly yet, but Kino Creations has also joined us as a sponsor. So you'll be getting some awesome, you know, handmade merch directly yeah. from an amazing community creator, Kino Creations. Seriously. So, um, That's cool. Kino's awesome. Please Kino's amazing. join. Amazing. Yeah, absolutely. And like all the the people, all the staff that are behind it, also amazing. You guys will love the production that we have put into this provided that we can get the show up and running. So yeah, um, just go ahead and click on the link I posted in the chat. Um, throw your hat in the ring. You have until the end of Sunday to uh, throw a recorded run in. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this podcast. Thank you so much for, uh, I'm sorry, Roundtable. Thank you so much to <laughs> Buck Fuzzles, DJ Johnny, Jomar, Bagel for hanging out. And that is a wrap. Woo! Thanks for joining for a card cast, guys. Have a great Thank day you. slash night. Good night. I'm going to go eat my bad time. No vitamin C, kid. Yeah. Let's go.